What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am so excited you are here. We're gonna learn together. This is the Tarver Academy Summer Professional Development. We're gonna learn. Learning's happening. It's going down today. We're about to get started. My name is Tyler. I, uh, I run Tarver Academy. It's an online resource for teachers and students and educators in a place, it's a great community where people just get involved and learn and get better. And I throw resources to you guys, throw ideas around. It's just a lot of fun. Just a whole lot of fun, Tarver Academy. So if you need anything, I'm here. TarverAcademy.com has a ton of resources and things that you can go to check out. Um, a little bit about me, just so you know, you don't think I'm just like, hey, here's a random YouTuber talking about, you know, videos or whatever. My name's Tyler. I started out teaching high school math, and then I moved into a uh, tech director slash facilitator role. Then I was a principal of a school 6th through 12th grade. 6th through 12th grade, fun ages. That's good stuff, okay? Good stuff. Never any drama, 6th through 12th grade. No, 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 no drama, drama. And uh, I was, uh, our school had waivers from the state, so we did a lot of online, we did a lot of blended, we did a lot of, did a lot of in-person learning, all of the above, so we get to learn a lot, make some mistakes, do some stuff right, and try to learn from everything we did. Then after that, I went to Central Office, and I was Director of Curriculum Instruction, and now I'm the Dean of NLC College. And um, I'm just, I'm so excited to be here, learning and growing with you guys. Uh, I'm also giving a little bit of time for people to jump in, get started, and we're about to go through some of the housekeeping stuff. We're going to do a little check-in right now at the beginning, and then at the end of this video, at the end of this training, we're going to have a chance for you to get a certificate showing that you actually showed up and you did the learning, okay? I think that this training and the other trainings that you, you are going to get the chance to be a part of this summer are gonna help you grow as an educator. And you know, if you grow as an educator, all it does is help the students and the community that you live in. And so let's try our best to learn something, take something away from this that we can put in our repertoire and get better with. Okay, so the first thing, first thing I need you guys to do is I need us to check in, okay? And this check-in, what it does is it timestamps when you are here so that you might not need this uh, later, but if you're an administrator or whoever comes back and they're like, how do I know you didn't just click to the end? This shows that you were here at the beginning. So you can scan the QR code that is on the screen if you have your cell phone. I don't have my phone with me. Get your phone out. I'll use my wallet, Atlanta Braves wallet. Film that, you just hold your phone over that QR code that you see on the screen, you'll see something pop up at the top. Click that and it'll take you to where you can fill out that you were here. It's very short, very quick. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to do that right now. Go ahead, scan the QR code, go to the website, check in, and when you do that, you will get an email. If you do not get an email immediately, this happened, I told you, I was a tech director for a long time, okay? <laughs> I say a long time, I was a tech director long enough to know that if you don't get that email that you're filling out right now, it's because you typed your email address in wrong. That's exactly what happens. 19 times out of 19 and a half times, that's what happens. So go ahead and go to that. Remember, at the end of this session, there's gonna be another um, QR code that you're gonna scan that is going to give you the certification saying that you actually did the training. Both of these are time stamped. So if your administrator or whoever's in charge of PD for your district wants to see that and be like, how do I know you did this? You've got your check-in email that is timestamped by me, not by you, it's into a PDF um, or it's into that email. And then you will also have the timestamp on your certificate showing that you did this. Okay, so hopefully everybody is getting that done. Okay, giving you a little bit of time. If you have any trouble, um, just keep trying because I think it's pretty important to get that logged in. Now, while we're doing that, if you're finishing that up or um, you know, if you can hear me, what I would love for you to do is I would love for you to hit the red subscribe button. This is my YouTube channel, Tarver Academy. Um, That's what I call it. It's kind of where I got this started. I had this before I had the website and then I put up the website to put all the resources and all the stuff I was doing. But if you would hit the red subscribe button right now, that would be huge. That would be just super cool of you. And that way, you can hopefully see some of the other trainings that I'm doing, see some videos I do throughout the year to help teachers, to help students, to have fun and learn together. So hit that red subscribe button. Did you do it? Did you? You get the like too, the little thumbs up. That's just YouTube etiquette. You get the thumbs up. It's just really nice to do. So you want to hit the, the thumbs up button, you can. Um, and I would love to start this. How about this? 
in the chat, okay? Because you, if you're watching this on my website, which is where you can watch it, that's fine. You're not gonna see the chat, but if you click and watch this on YouTube, you're gonna see a chat rolling on the side of the screen. Start it off, I want you guys in the chat to say who you are, like give your name, tell us what you teach and where you teach, okay? If you're an administrator, you can say that I'm a principal or you can say your central office, whatever you do. If you're, I've got some people that have signed up for this that are aspiring educators. So this is great to say, I'm, I wanna be an educator, um, you know, I wanna be an English teacher for high school, throw that in there. If you wanna be an L, a kindergarten teacher, toss that in there, say you're in school. You know, it's a great way to network because I think there is a amazing community of educators here wanting to learn and grow together. And I think that it's great if we look out for each other. So throw in the chat, I want you to say your name, what you teach, and where you teach. Throw that in the chat. All right, man, we're doing good. We're doing good, it's our warm up, we're feeling good, we're stretching it out. It's always good to stretch before you stretch. I don't know, I heard some friends say that, so I say it from time to time. Okay, next thing. This is another little thing, I've got, I've got one right here. So I've written, uh, I've written a couple books. I've done uh, Superheroes Need Sleep too. This is a children's book. It's like a nap time book, so you don't, you don't have to read that. Um, but this one, I think, is super relevant for you. This is the Baller Teacher Playbook, and in it, I have like practical advice. It's 18 chapters, so the idea is that you could do this like once a week with your team for a full semester or every other week for a year and try to improve your teaching um, every week. I'm not doing this to sell it to you. I'm doing this to say I'm giving some of these away all summer to people that are participating in this. So if you want a chance to win one of these, or I think I probably got some some uh, some other educator books. If you're like, I don't really want your book, Tyler. I've got some other, I got a ton of educator books. I'll send them to you. All you gotta do, follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Tarver. Follow me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram and I will, uh, I'm will. i gonna be giving these out throughout the summer. You might be the person I give it to. So follow me on Instagram, and then throw something in your Instagram story if you want, just to increase your chances of me seeing it. So I'm just gonna be clicking through. I see people follow on Instagram. I'm gonna throw out stuff to them. So random people will get it. You might, might not, but you won't if you don't. So there we go. Y'all feeling good? Does everybody feel good? Everybody throw in the chat who they are, where they teach, what they teach. Okay, so to explain also what this is, you are watching, this is a live broadcast. So this is either, this is going as a YouTube premiere or a full on live video. So one of the two, either way, that chat is happening live. Everybody that jumps into this video at any point is gonna be watching it at the same time as you. So it's great to get in the chat and talk, discuss, ask questions, give input. If we ask a question in the video, you can type it in your notes, but you can also you can also type it in the chat. You can copy paste from the chat. It's a great way for you to be a part of this live broadcast, okay? So if you have a Google Notes, Google Notes, if you have a notes document, if you wanna take notes by hand, um, I've got a template for notes if you want. Um, it sent it to you whenever you filled out your um, your email, it should have been on that page whenever you did your check-in at the beginning. If not, it's on like every PD page. I have my website, tarveracademy.com. Click on PD and you get a free notes template or you can take notes in your own doc, however you wanna do it. Take notes, write down stuff that's relevant to you and copy paste stuff that people put in the chat. There's gonna be people in the chat that are way smarter than me. And so I'd love for you to copy paste that into the notes and you can take that and make your teaching game elevate. Um, so next thing, while we're getting clogged in, while we're getting, people still jumping in here, um, they're still jumping in the video, giving you a few minutes to do that. We're also, if you wanna watch these videos, cause after this ends, it's, it's gonna be gone off of here. However, I'm gonna be putting all of these trainings, every single, all like 30 something trainings, you know, I think it's over like um, 100 and, I don't know, 120 hours worth of trainings. I'm putting all of that uh, for people that join what I call the Tarver Academy Honor Roll. It's a, a, sm a small group of educators who are trying to get better every week. And I send out weekly emails during the school year um, to where you're getting templates, you're getting resources, uh, back to school starter kits, you're getting templates for Google Forms, trainings, PDs, tons of stuff every single week delivered to your inbox. And also you have access to all of this, all of these trainings that is available if you go to tarveracademy.com slash honor roll if you want to. Um, I think it's I think it's a great decision. I think it's, it's a great decision. It's a great decision. Nobody's in here. Who am I talking to? I'm not talking to anybody. Okay, y'all feel good? Y'all ready to start? Y'all feel good? This is a little warm up. A little explain what's going on. Everybody feel good? One to ten. Put in the chat how you feel today. Or give me this. How about this? Give me an emoji. 
emoji of how you're feeling today. That'd be better. One to ten or give me an emoji. I'd love to see it. Or just give me a word. You're like, I don't want to do an emoji. Give me a word. How you feeling today? And let's get rolling. Remember, input in the chat. Take notes. Learn. Grow. Welcome to the best professional development that you're going to do. Not guaranteed, but mm, it's an opinion, but it's also true, but it might be biased. But it's going to be a great summer. It's going to be a great training. Hope you guys learn something. Hope this adds you value that you can then bring to your students and make your school, your community, yourself better in some way. Guys, we're about to get started. Y'all excited? Y'all ready? We're about to do this. Let's get ready to learn and have fun. Tarver Academy. Let's go. Let's go. Hit it. Hit it. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Canva. Creating with Canva. Canva is low key one of my favorite, like web, you call it a website, you can call it a creation station, you can call it whatever you want, apps. It's got an app. It is my favorite graphic design thing. I can use Photoshop, I can use, um, I can use Illustrator a little bit, not a lot. I used to use Adobe Spark, I've used all these. Canva is by far the simplest and also it makes some really great designs. I use it all the time. For pretty much every resource that I make, I'm using Canva. And so what I want to do today is I could walk through and show you, here's a walkthrough, here's do this, this, and this, and this. What I want to do today is I want you to actually walk out of this with stuff you've made. I want you to actually make things in Canva, okay? To do that, you're going to need to get a Canva account. Now, it's free, okay? It's free. <laughs> it's good, good for the economy. It hurts nobody. Helps everybody. I'm sorry, that's a TikTok thing. Okay, so what you need to do is go to bit.ly slash Tarver Canva, okay? That'll be a link and they'll know I sent you. It doesn't get me anything, but it's just fun because then it's like, hey, look, I sent some people and they like that. So go there. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's nice. So click on that link or type that in. Go do that right now as I'm talking. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do next, but I want you to go ahead and get a Canva account. Now, if you don't have one, create a free account, okay? Don't pay for an account, okay? Here's why. Canva has guaranteed that it is going to be free for educators forever. Now, you're not going to have time to verify that you're an educator today. So just save that and you can do that later. What you need to do is create a free account, bit.ly slash Tarver Canva. Create a free account. Now, um, after today, after we get done with the session, I think you should go in and submit for like the teacher one, the educator one. And so the reason I recommend that is because you get all the premium features for free because you're an educator. All right. Now, used to, you had to just show that you like had an educator email. Now they've changed it to where you actually have to like show a picture of your teaching certificate, I think. Don't quote me on that. But do that later. You can always pay for it if you want to. Like say you just have the budget and you want to spend it. Cool. Actually, you should sign up for the honor roll. What's up? We'll talk about that later. But what I want you to do is uh, go for the free one. Sign up for that. Get that. What we're going to do today is I actually want you to create some stuff today. I'm going to talk through how to create some different things. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to import it into Google Slides or Forms or whatever we're using it with. But I want you to actually make something. You do not have to make exactly what I'm making, okay? Make a variation of that that you'll actually use. So like the first session, this first session, we're going to be talking through how to create Google Classroom headers, you know, custom headers on Google Classroom. We're going to make some of those. I'm going to make some Christmas ones. You don't have to do that. You could go in and make some that are related to first period, second period, third period, or to your whole class. You can make them related to whatever you want, but you're going to walk through and make them as I make them. So actually create as I'm creating in each of these sessions. So we're going to start with Google Classroom headers created in Canva. Let's get going. Let's get started. Let's make some stuff. It's bit.ly slash Tarver, T-A-R-V-E-R, Canva. That's the link to like sign up for Canva if you don't have it already. Again, it's linked in the description. If you want it there, you can have it there. That was weird. Uh, okay, so we're in Canva. Canva has one of the best searches I've ever seen. So like Google's the best search, obviously. Um, and within Google, there are you know multiple ways you can um, search like Google, you know, regular Google, YouTube, Google Drive, all those. Google's the best. Second best search I've ever seen, honestly, is Canva. Canva is incredible for any type of headers you want to do. So I'm just going to search Google Classroom Header. Okay. So I'm going to go there. And okay. So what I've got here is I'm going to scroll down. So these are all templates set up to the perfect dimensions of Google Classroom. So Google Classroom is kind of a weird shaped um, header. 
but this is kind of one of them. So what you can do is you can roll through some of these um, templates and you can pick whichever one you want and start with it. And then you can adjust it from there. So let's start. This one looks pretty. We'll take this. Okay. I'll make my screen a little bit. Do you know you can make your screen like bigger or smaller just by hitting on a Mac? It's command plus or command minus. It makes your text and stuff smaller, or bigger. If you're on a like a Chromebook or a Windows device, it's control plus or minus. That's just a fun fact. Okay, so we're in here. Let's create this header. So let's do a Christmas quote. Um, the beautiful thing about learning. This one's like the, the template they give you. So we're just going to pick something that might look cool for Christmas, which is, um, let's see. Oh, can I tell you, this is a little trick I do. Um, I will go and I'll type in like Christmas puns and get ideas. It's it's not stealing if you're a teacher. It's plagiarism if you're a student. It's not um, it's not stealing if you're a teacher. It's just sharing. You know what I mean? So roll around to get ideas. Um, resting Grinch face. That's pretty good. You slay me. That's that's all right. Your presence is requested. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. Okay. Your presence is requested in the Google Meet. That's pretty good. That's pretty clean. Who are we going to say said it? It was a BB King. Did BB King say it? Um, BB King, did he say that? Let's, uh, let's say, you know, Rudolph probably said that. R-U-D-O-L-P-H. Is that how you spell Rudolph? Okay. I'm going to make that larger. So you can just highlight. I'm going to kind of walk you guys through Canva and how to use it while we're doing this. So you can highlight that text and then you come here. This is kind of like your, um, it's like in, in Google Docs or Microsoft Word or whatever. It's like your toolbar. So we're going to go here and we want to make it a little bit bigger. Boom. Rudolph. And let's just put a dash just to make sure people know. Okay. I can change the background color as well. These are fully customizable in Canva. So I just click on this and look up here in the upper left. I'm going to click off. Of it. As I click on it, it's going to show me those, um, like that color grid. And I can choose. I've got some colors I use for my stuff. Then, then, so I can throw in like red. That's pretty Christmassy, right? So I can just click off the screen. You see, I just clicked off the screen and it went away. So I can take that and I can roll in. Um, you can actually toss in photos too. So let's toss in some photos. Let's pretend like Rudolph actually said this. And so I'm going to show you how to pull in photos. Um, over here on the left, this is where you can upload stuff. But let's see. We're gonna go to elements, okay? I could go into photos and pull in a photo. Y'all wanna do that? Y'all down with photos? Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So we click on photos. Canva has an amazing library of like photo, like open photos you can use. So let's do this. Let's just type in Rudolph, see what we can, Rudolph, see what we can get. Okay, here we go. We got some stuff, some good stuff. If I wanna put any of this in there, all I have to do, is click the picture, drag it over the top of the background. Do you see how it changes? I'm gonna wait till I see it. There we go. And then I can let go. That's not a good picture because you can't even see what it is. So let's do this one. Let's see if this one looks better. Click, drag. Okay, okay, here we go. That was not bad. Now let's say I need to like the sizing's off a little bit. Let's say I want to double click that. I can pull that down and adjust it. And then I'm just gonna click done. There you go. So that's not bad. Look at that. That fits pretty well. Okay. Your presence is requested in the Google Meet. If I spell anything wrong, you guys got to let me know. Um, you guys have to let me know if I spell something wrong. So let's roll over. I, now let's say we want to take this and we want to save this Google Classroom header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the upper right and I'm going to click download. You can do PNG file or JPEG file. Here's what I recommend. I recommend at doing a PNG file because they're just as good as a JPEG, but they're a lot less on the size. So you're going to fill up your computer a lot less quickly. So I'm going to take that download and it's downloaded and that's it. Okay. So that's how you would do a photo if you wanted to um, for that. Okay. So now I want to show you how to do a video one. So let's go back. Let's go back to our templates. We're going to roll back. And we're going to search um, Google Classroom, Google Classroom, Classroom headers. They're going to search some Google Classroom headers. We're going to click on it. Boom. It's going to pull some more templates. 
I like to start fresh with the template because you could, I could have just modified that one I was doing, but then I'm going in and it's like losing some of the stuff that I want. So I'm going to roll in here. Let's see. We want to do something clean. What you guys thinking? What do y'all think? Anybody got any suggestions? Let's go to, I mean, this one looks pretty Christmassy, right? So let's click that. And it's going to give us that template to start with. Loading up. Okay, so let's pick our text first, and then we'll go in and throw some elements. And again, I'm going to do one that is moving. I want it to be a video, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Uh, we're looking. I just searched like Google pun or not Google. I Googled searched Christmas puns. Um, let's say, but oh, wait, there's Mur. That's pretty good. Say my name. Uh, hold on for dear life. Okay, that was not a bad one. Hold on for dear life. The Christmas has Noel. That's pretty funny. Uh, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Okay, that's pretty clean. You'll be sorry. Um, okay, how about this? You'll, you'll, we're going to use that word. Okay, you'll love these uh, assignments. You got to be careful when you crop certain pictures if you're putting these in a Google Classroom. That's a warning. When you put headers in Google Classroom, make sure you crop them correctly. And so you'll love um, this classwork. How's that classwork? Boom. That's good. That's good. I'll make that all lowercase. Okay. So now we want to take this and we want to make it to where it is a little more Christmassy. So I'm going to hover over this pineapple and delete it, delete the surfboard. I'm going to delete that. Okay. We're going to take that out of it. Actually, that's not bad. We can leave that. All right. So now I want to put in uh, some Christmas trees. So I'm going to go over to elements. I'm going to click on all oh, the jingle ladies. Okay. So we just had a comment. That is clean. Okay. I'm writing that down. I'm writing it down. I'm sorry. All the jingle ladies. That's pretty good. I'm writing it down. That's coming up next. All the jingle ladies. And that'll be great because I can uh, put in, I'm going to show you how to put in a picture of someone and take away the background. And we're going to get Beyonce in there. Okay. You'll love this classwork. So let's finish this. So let's do a Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Okay. Now let's say I want to do a Christmas tree that was actually moving. Cause these are all like they're set. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's classy. I'm going to put that in there. Next I'm not, it looks ugly when I put it in there. Okay. So I want to go and search Christmas tree, but over here to the right, you see those like three lines with the circles on them. If you click those, you can actually choose for it to be animated. So instead of it being a static photo, I can make it animated. You can even choose the colors if you want it. So I'm gonna hit apply. Look at these beautiful Christmas trees. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay, first I'm tossing in this because that's fancy. Look at these Christmas. Oh my goodness. Somebody uh, said in, look at that. We're gonna toss, we're gonna toss that right there. Okay, so I put those little uh, uh, ornaments there. Now let's say I wanna move those to the back because it's covering up my text. All you do is you right click on that and you wanna go to send to back. Boom. Now they're hanging back there. Okay, now let's put uh, let's put a Christmas tree in. Oh, look at this. This is going to be great. Okay, so let's find a Christmas tree that fits. Let's do this one. Okay, excellent. Now we're working. Okay, now our background is a little, the contrast isn't great, so I'm going to change the color of my background. I'm going to click on that little chicken nugget. I'm just going to click somewhere on the background, and then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to change that to, I guess, I mean, are we going red again? I mean, it just kind of works, right? It's Christmas. So uh, let's try. Nope. Yellow's too much. Too much. Mayday. Mayday. Let's just go there. That's clean. Okay. Click right here. Now I want to add in another Christmas tree. So let's add in. Oh, this one's nice. We're going to add that Christmas tree in. This little guy. Okay, I feel like Bob Ross. All right. Don't worry about this little guy. We're going to put this little guy right here. Okay. And I'm going to put some presents in the Christmas tree. They're going to go right here. Thank you. Somebody said red is good. All right, uh, put this in here. Uh, somebody in the chat, because I'm running this live on TikTok too, because TikTok is the bossest of all the platforms. Somebody had a really good question. Do you have a problem with it, um, with the, the text on Google Classroom covering it up? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Um, I think that they're gonna get to a point where you can clean it up, maybe because it shades it too. So I think they're gonna allow you to take away that. They just haven't yet. And I do have the problem of it overlapping it. So that's why I always like to toss in a lot of elements. That way um, 
I don't know. You get variety. Okay, let's toss in one of these weird, creepy creatures because why not? You know, it's ours. We can do whatever we want. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to shrink this little guy down and I'm going to have this little guy dancing on top of this. That's just, that's just good, clean fun. Okay. And then I think we're good. I think that's pretty good. Y'all feel good? I feel good. Okay. So let's move this over a little bit just because I don't know why. It just feels like I should. And there we go. So we have a moving header. So this is what you do whenever you want to export, whenever you want to export this as a video because we want it to move. And then I'm going to show you how to import this into, um, into, boom. Okay. Sorry. I'm reading the comments. So let's put this, we're going to export it right now. It's on a six second loop. I can see that right here. So I can click this. Oh, it's going to show me a preview of what it looks like. See, that's the preview of it. Okay. So I'm going to close. Now I want to, I want to download this. So I'm going to go to download and it's going to be, the default is an MP4 video. I've never honestly tried to, um, he, I've never tried to import an MP4 video. I bet it would work. I'm going to do a GIF though. I think GIFs, they're going to take up a lot less uh, storage than a MP4. So I'm going to download a GIF. I always like to save storage because you never want your computer full. So I'm going to mark it as a GIF, hit download. Okay. Um, so somebody said, Misplace22 said, I've never used Canva. Is it free? Yes. So they have, okay, there's three versions of Canva. You ready? So there, Canva has a free version that you can do. Um, you can still create a ton of stuff. They've got a lot of good templates. You will not be disappointed with free, okay? Now, if you um, want, I've, I actually pay for the pro version because it gives me more templates and more elements. So, so I like actually one of those trees that I tossed in, I wouldn't have gotten to use if I was using the free version. I think it's like 90 bucks a year. I don't know, it's not bad. Um, but if you are an educator, they have it free for educators on the education account. If you're interested, I have links directly to Canva, like the regular version, and links directly to the education version um, in my bio. So solo.to slash Tyler. If you click on it, it's the blue, there's a blue photo, and that's my Canva links. You click on that um, and it'll sign you up for Canva, the free one or the teacher one. I think it actually might take a little bit of time, um, a little bit of time to for them to approve your teacher one, but they will. It used to be you could use your teacher email. And now I heard from somebody recently that now they make you show your like teaching license. I guess too many people were swiping the, the pro version for teachers. So highly recommend it. Um, yes, you need to get the education. Pro is a must. I use pro. Um, I love it. Um, I completely agree. I tried, I did free. I actually used Adobe Spark for a long time for my graphics. And I just switched it up about a few months ago and I do not regret it at all. Okay, so we've made a text one and we've made a video um, header and I wanna show you how to put them in to your Google Classroom. So let's go to classroom.google.com and we're gonna toss these little chicken nuggets into the Google Classroom headers. Okay, so let's choose one of these classes that I don't use anymore. Um, okay, here we go. Here's one my daughter made called first grade. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, look, there's one deck the halls with completed assignments. I'm going to turn that for the TikTok people so it doesn't say a cuss word because it was cropping one of the words. Okay, so we want to go to upload. We just click on the class, go to upload photo. And now we're just going to go and get our photo that we did earlier. So we can drag and drop or we can um, go and click select a photo from my computer. I'm just going to drag and drop from there. It's going to upload. Remember, we search for Google Classroom headers and it's going to download it. Um, it's going to download with the perfect dimensions. Now, this red, when I made those Halloween headers, I heard that there was a teacher that, that made the mistake and it cropped off something where it says, don't ghost your assignments. And it cropped it and made it inappropriate. Whenever you're in here, make sure you stretch this out to fit the entire thing. Oh my goodness. There you go. Fill that entire thing. Hit select the class theme. Boom. It is now going to be your Google Classroom header. Okay. Now I want to show you real quick. Let's let's walk through the video. And so we did that for the photo. Let's do it for video. I'm going to click upload photo. I'm going to go grab that GIF or GIF if you want to say it the way I don't like it. Click. I'm going to drag it in there to upload it. It's going to upload that GIF. I'm going to stretch it out to cover the whole thing. Brr, brr. Hit select class theme. And we got it, fam. Look at us. 
We in it. We are in it. Okay. So there you go. You can do movable. You can do video ones. Um, yeah. So we're good to go. That's it. That's how you do photo and video for, um, for this. So look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Wow. That was so good. So good. So great. So we're going to do a break right now. If you need to go uh, use the restroom, grab something to drink, uh, get a snack, um, whatever you need to do, you can go do that. You know, make a call. I need to make a call. I got a text message. I got a call. If you need to do that, go for it. I'm going to show some videos on the screen that hopefully will add you value in case you stick around, get your notes together, maybe record some stuff you've learned so far, reflect. But we're going to throw some stuff on the screen. There's a timer on the screen to show you how long you have till we jump back in to what we are learning. So keep an eye on that, and I'll see you guys here in a minute. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Yo, can I show you a feature you need to turn on in Gmail like now that I call the save your job feature? You ready for this gamers? Here it comes. So when you're on your Gmail, just go over to the right and click on the little gear. Looks like a little gear. We're gonna click that and then we're gonna go to see all settings. Boop. So go to the tab says general, should automatically pop up. Here comes the general. I'm sorry. Okay, go to the fourth one down says undo send. Turn this on anywhere five to 30 seconds. I usually do about 20, feels safe. Then it's just like the only thing you have to save in Gmail. Scroll to the bottom and click save changes. I've already got it, but you need to click save changes. Then you just go and write your little stuff. You're like, hey, I wanna see your email. And you hit the send button. Now, after you hit send, watch the lower left hand corner. Hit send, Tyler. There it is. Look at this. Message sent, undo or view message. I have that 20 seconds to hit undo and it brings it back. Bring it back now. This is helpful if you're sending a meme, making fun of your boss to your friend teacher and that's why you don't get fired. You can yes. Plus I want to show you a tip for Jamboard. It's very easy, very quick. It's going to help your life. By the way, this is in reference to the uh, like Google resource slideshow that I gave you. I'm going to show you which slide it's on. <laughs> Here we go. First off, you can be in the presentation, hit command F. What it does is it brings up this little chicken nugget and you can type in Jamboard, Jamboard. It'll show you everywhere. There's one for a Jamboard for a walkthrough and then bam, Jamboard. There's a slide and there's a 30 minute training within this training where they can learn more about Jamboard. Let me show you a quick tip in Jamboard. So let's say you're trying to write something. You're like, I wanna make a straight line. And you're like, oh wow, this looks like I did this while I was skydiving. You can actually hold shift while you do that little click and it'll make a straight line. I can't do this, I don't have enough hands. Hold shift, click, and it will, see this? It makes it a straight line that I can just drop broop, like that. Look at that, broop, look at those straight lines. Broop, hold shift, bam, money, game time. I've got a little holder for it. Let me turn it around. Hey guys, Tyler here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and if you want to, you can go to the Summer PD link in bio. Oh. Spoiler alert, did you know that Google Slides just added a feature where you can have the text auto shrink or the boxes auto shrink based on the size of what you're putting into your Google Slide? Let me show you that right now. Okay, so usually you start typing and you're like, oh, look at me, I'm typing a letter, blah, 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 blah. And look at this, this garbage. Look at this absolute garbage. Look at that. I'm the kind of guy who likes to color in between the lines. I would like to formally apologize for getting so hype. Well, let me show you how to do this. I'll be honest, I don't know where it is up here. If you know, just let me know in the comments, but I just go to help and I just type preferences, P-R-E-F, preferences, click it. Then you wanna click use custom auto fit preferences. Then you have options for the theme text placeholders and the new text boxes. You can have it do not auto fit, that's what we have right now, or you can have it shrink the text if it becomes too much or resize the shape to fit the text if it gets too big. Let's go shrink text overflow. Now when you have text in there, it's going to auto fit based on the size. Look at this, put it back in. Look. I can help you with that. You ever get it to where there's so many tabs at the top you can't even function? Let's fix it. So up here at the top, I've got all these tabs. And there's just tab overload, tab a -la ding dong What am I saying? So what you wanna do is you wanna make them shrink down to just the icon, fun fact, called the favicon. And you want to shrink them down to make them really small. So you're like, oh man, Tyler's YouTube channel, like and subscribe, is very helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin that tab. Watch this. I'm gonna right click up here on this tab part. And I'm gonna go down to pin, P-I-N. Here we go, watch what happens. Yeet! Shrinks down to just the icon and it moves to the left. That right there, those five is less the size real estate than this one. You can tab them all, you can tab it up. Tab 11 ding dong. What am I saying? Fun fact, free PD available, link in my bio. Sign up now, it's free for you. Learn about Google, yes you will. And you probably get it, certified with your school. Just add oh, so I just, I was leaving the library and they had these TVs up of all the March Madness and the basketball games. And I was thinking to myself the whole time, 
Are these kids doing their homework? For real, like, I, I love U of A. Congratulations, Arkansas. You know, got a degree from there. What's up, alumni? Here's the deal, though. Are these kids getting done with this game? They're like, yeah, okay, I gotta go study for Western Civ. I just need to know. What do y'all think? Is that, what's that? Is that bro? <laughs> All right, what's up? How are you feeling? You feeling good? Okay, okay. So this next section, we're gonna do a basic lesson plan in Google, or not in Google, in Canva, well, Google Canva. Google should buy Canva. Oh, well, they should, that's actually a great idea. Okay, so if they do that, I get a finder's fee. That's not how that works. Okay, so in this next section, we're gonna do a basic lesson plan. Um, later, we're gonna do a like a more beefed up lesson plan and incorporating Google Slides, but I wanna start off pretty basic and just kind of show you the, the quick version of it of how to create one using their templates. And then we'll go into like a more in-depth one. So it's like pretty much called this a starter kit for the next section. So we're gonna get started, create one. If you wanna make it something different, if you wanna add different titles, anything, uh, don't worry, we're gonna make legit ones here in a minute, but this one could be legit, I don't know. But this could also be one that you could just print off. You don't have to incorporate into Google Slides. You could actually take this lesson plan, make it very quickly, and then uh, create them in Canva and just export them every time you want. So I wouldn't, I would put them in slides so you can edit them every year, but it's your call, it's your class, I'm not your boss. So let's get started. We're gonna do a basic level Google, or not Google, uh, a lesson plan in Canva and then try to uh, show you how to incorporate that into Google. Here we go. And I'm just gonna go up here to the search. Canva has one of the best searches I have ever seen. Like it's like Google's number one, Canva's number two. So here we go. We're gonna type in lesson plan, okay? Now we're gonna look around and see if there is a lesson plan that catches our fancy. Okay, we can start blank and start from scratch if you know what there's something you wanna do, but I think it would be um, advantageous for you to um, maybe look around on here first before you have to start from scratch because you could always adapt these. Remember, these aren't set like this. You don't have to do one that says Miss Morgan's lesson plan. You're gonna be able to go through and pick whatever you want. So let's do, Let's see, which one looks good? Ooh, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one right here. Okay, so let's do, let's see, we're checking them out, we're checking them out. We could look at this. Ooh, I kind of like this. Let's do this one. We don't do enough for early education, so we'll make one right here for early ed, okay? So I click on it and when it does that, it makes a copy for me of that version. Now, you're thinking to yourself, Tyler, right now it looks like this. It looks like a piece of paper. And in Google Slides, it's long ways like this. I'm gonna work you through that. We're gonna talk about how to adjust that, okay? So um, here we go. So we've got our, um, it says Georgetown Preschool Weekly Lesson Plan prepared by Josie Phillips, okay? And then you've got um, circle time, We've got language arts, math or science, motor skills, sensory play. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, I'm thinking that what we can do, sorry, it's my son. He's a little loud. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete these because I wanna give you the option to fill those in. We're almost gonna use just the, um, the look of this template and then we're gonna go in and fill it in later with what we want. So let's do Georgetown Preschool. We can delete that as well. Delete that and then prepared by we can delete that too okay we want to keep it pretty much as basic as possible um because we're going to be able to adjust that now if you were if you were making this for your class you could go in and you could be like you know put your name and your class and even put in these topics which is a great um it's a great idea especially for when you're trying to you know build out something that you can either make copies of later or you know adjust you can always adjust it in your Canva account. The reason I'm not doing that now is because I'm wanting to give this out to anybody that wants it and I, I don't wanna make it too specific for me, okay? I can go in and change the colors to see if there's a color I like. I can use, Canva's cool, you can use some of your brand colors. So I could go in and I could use, let's say, um, I could use that. Okay, we can go there, that's a little too, there we go, red's, per, red's so pretty. Um, we'll do that. And then I'm going to change the colors here so I can go pop this. Okay. Is that, is that ugly? Y'all tell me. Is that ugly? Anybody? No. Okay, good. We're good. All right. Let's see. Maybe Navy's too strong. I'm sorry. I'm just walking through the process of what I think looks good. 
we can do this. And I could even change the colors each day. They don't have to all be the same, but I'm feeling it. So let's do, is that, does that look okay, guys? Y'all like that? You don't have to say yes. It's okay. All right. Maybe we'll do this, make it a little bit lighter. Okay. All right. Now I've got pretty much what I want for this template. Remember, you can go in and adjust. You can do whatever you want on all of um, on all of this. You can adjust anything you want. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to go up here to the upper right, and I'm going to click the download. Now from here, I want to make it a PNG, PNG or JPEG. I would just go PNG. It's like a lower. Um, the file's not quite as big. And so it saves you some space on your computer. And anytime you can save space on your computer, that's great. Okay. So we've downloaded the image. Now I'm going to go to Google Drive and I need to create a Google slide. So I'm going to go to Drive and I'm going to go to my resources where I usually put my resources. And we're going to create this little guy. Man, are y'all good? Y'all having a good day? Let me know in the comments um, how your week has been, how you're, what you're excited about for break. If you're watching this later, tell me what you're excited about coming up. And um, I would love to hear it. I'd love to hear it. Okay. So let's, uh, we'll switch back over here on this banner. And then we're going to do templates in slides. Okay. So I'm going to create it directly in here. Okay. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to show you from scratch. Usually what I would do is make a copy of one I've already done, but I want to show you how to resize this. So I'm not going to just bust, bust out like a copy of one. So I'm going to hit new and I want to use Google slides, Google slides, guys, I'm not going to lie. Like I used to say Google forms was like the best thing for teachers ever, which it still is as far as like assessments goes. But Google slides is a close second. It is so versatile as a um as a as a program to where you can create and adjust and have link click you can make your entire teacher website out of google slides it is a fantastic add-on for um for educator or out of you know program that educators can use okay cool it just kicked me offline awesome waiting on this to kick in hope you guys can still see me how y'all doing y'all still good great Awesome. I don't know why my internet's acting ratchety all of a sudden. You know who I blame? Whatever, you know, political thing we don't like, that's who I blame. I'm just kidding. You can't joke like that, Tyler. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. Do we get it? Hit new. Give me a new Google slide. Create and share. Okay, now we're cranking. Here we go. Okay. Now, what I need to do first is I need to size, it's sized like a presentation. What I need to do is size it like a piece of paper because that's what my template is, okay? So I'm gonna go up here to file. I'm sorry, I keep scratching my neck. I don't, you have to say it because if I call it out, now you'll notice. So now I definitely can. So um, we are gonna go up here to file. First, I'm gonna, why is my themes? This looks so huge. I don't want that. Get out of here. X out of that. I'm going to file. And we're going to go to page setup. Okay. What we wanna do is we wanna change it from widescreen or standard, and we're gonna go to custom, and we're gonna make it a piece of paper, which we know a piece of paper is eight and a half by 11 inches. So we'll go 8.5 by 11 inches. Hit apply. Boom, now we have a piece of paper. Now I need to put my lesson plan as the background. So I'm gonna go up here to background and I'm gonna go to choose image. And I'm gonna upload that image as the background image. Man, if you're watching this later, you're lucky because you can just like scrub forward. Look at you, saving time. While I'm waiting on this load. You know what I bet it is? My kids are up this morning about to go to school and they're probably got the TV. Hey, could you guys turn the TV off, please? We'll see if they listen. I bet they're going to cut it in here me so they can do whatever they want. 
kids. Am I right, guys? Load up. Come on now. Come on. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Um, so one of the things to keep in mind while you're doing this is you are trying to make something you can adapt and change. You're going to make something that you think is like the best version of this lesson plan. Um, I'm going to drag this and drop it in here. But in six months or a month or a year from now, you might want to change this. And so it doesn't hurt to think through like, what could I do different if this isn't what I want in the future? I'm going to hit done. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this text box and I'm going to get rid of this text box. I'm deleting those right there. Okay. So now I have just a template for a lesson plan. I've got it in Google Slides. Now, here's one thing I would recommend. You can go in and you can make changes that you don't want to make later. So like, um, let me actually title this, you know, you know, weekly lesson plan. And then I'll put like early ed. No, nope. no, I don't want to call it early ed. Let's call it a weekly lesson plan. Okay. Now, if I'm trying to go in and make something that I'm going to use frequently, I can go in and we're going to go to view. And I'm going to go to master. When you do this, it's like, if you've got a Google slide and you've got the parts you edit, when you say master, it's like you go behind the curtain and you can make changes to it that, um, that you know, you weren't going to mess with later. It's harder to change them. You can always go back in and change your master stuff, but it's a lot harder. So, um, you can put your school here and you could say, you know, school lesson plans and you can put the name of your school, like Darver, Academy lesson plans. Boom. I'm going to bold that. I'm going to change the font to something not super basic. We can go boom like this. And then we can change the color. Change the color of it. Put it on white. Nope, that's not what we want. That's not what I wanted, Tyler. Here it is. I can go in. I could change that to our Academy lesson plans. Oh, that's what I did. I changed the outline. My bad. Here it is. So I can go in, you can adjust this. And when you do this, it's not going to show up on the other side of it. Okay. So like, let's say I'm going to delete that because these could be your lesson plans. I'm making a template. You would put that, you could put your name, you could put whatever you want. You could put a section for like what week it is. Um, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to add that for you guys. So um, let's do this. Let's do week. And then let's go in and make the color white. Week number and then put week number. And that way you can always add that in. Let's change the font over. I always like Roboto. It's pretty clean. It's whatever. I mean, it's about as good as you can get, right? Okay. So got that clicking off of it i'm gonna move it up just a little bit because it looks like it's low i'm such a graphic designer that's not true and then right here we can go in and we can change up our titles okay um you would definitely want to put your teacher name in there um so that you have it but i don't want to put your teacher name so i could go here and i could add a text box and i could add it right here so let's say i want to put you know, um, um, what's like a, like an activity, like opening activity. So I could put opening act, opening, opening activity. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our font, what we want here. And we're going to make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to make it centered and I'm going to center in the box. Now, once you do that once, you're going to be able to make a quick copy of all of it. So hold on. Let me show you how to do that. We could do white. That's not bad. That's pretty clean. Okay. So we'll take this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the option button. I'm going to click on the box and I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to, it's going to, when I do that, when you hold option and then click and drag, it makes a copy for you. So now I don't have to do that formatting stuff again, which there's another way to do that, which I've showed you in many videos. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Go back. Go back. There we go. Okay, opening activity. Um, and we could do like, what's a closing activity? We could do um, open activity, and then you'll do like a writing activity, writing, reading. We could do uh, math or kinesthetic. Would that be a good idea? I don't know. Do you do math this early? If we're doing this as early ed, um, reading, writing, math, and then um, you know um, exit procedures. End of day. End of day sounds better. Exit sounds super. End of day procedures. That's too big. Someone like that. A little bit smaller. End of day procedures. Reading, writing, math. Is that is that good? We'll say it is. You can always change it because you can go into the master because I showed you how to do it. So to get out of the master, I always just click off, click back over here, and that's going to adjust it for me. Let's see, view. Am I in the master? Nope, I bounced out of the master. So I just made it on there. So which is actually what I wanted to do because I want you guys to be able to edit that, okay? So you'll be able to edit those, change them however you want. Now I would go ahead and put in some text boxes here so that you can have it set up to fill in these boxes. So a couple of things I would recommend on these boxes. One, I'm gonna go ahead and get my font that I want. I need to make it small so that it fits in here. So I'm gonna go to 10, might be too small, Let's see. That's pretty small. Let's do 11 or 12, let's do 12. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I wanna go in and I wanna make a copy, oh, I'm sorry, before you do that, this is something that I found the hard way. On these boxes, you want to go to format options and then you want it to be, oh, where is it? This is something that text fitting, where is it? Maybe it's a right click. Let me right click here. Ah, where is that? It, it's a way that, because so if you don't do this, whenever you type, actually this one didn't do it. Usually when you type, it'll do a space afterwards, but I didn't do it, so we're good. Um, let's do our font. Let's change the font color and make it like a navy. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. Some a little less crazy. Actually, let's do that one. Nope, it's too light. Let's do that one. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so now that I've got that, I want to duplicate these boxes so that I can just type in them next time and I don't have to rewrite them, okay? So I'm just gonna hold that option button, remember? And then I'm gonna drag it over. I think I've got them too large. This is not gonna work. Oh, oh, oh nope, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna tighten this Monday one up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go over. Okay, this is a very, I mean, I don't know if I would use this. I mean, you guys, the main thing is that you learn how to do your own lesson plans. That's the goal. So there we go. So now I've got a box on each of these. And then to make it for the other days, I'm just gonna drag and select all of these. And then I'm gonna hold option. And I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to just create a whole new one right there. There we go. We're doing it. One more. Okay. And then drag it right there. Okay. So now we have them. We're good to go. You can go in. You can type. Oh, just double click and say, you know, um, you could say we're going to play, you know, uh, paper, rock, scissors. You could do Tuesday, you're going to do this, Wednesday, you're going to do this. You can change whatever you want as you do this. And I set it up to where you can always change out whatever these are as well. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hey, it's Tyler here. I'm just gonna give you a little break. So if you need to go do something, you need to go use the restroom, get a snack, get something to eat, whatever. Um, you can go do that. Uh, I was gonna chat with you about some stuff, give you some time to do that and check in, maybe say hi. If you want in the chat, in the chat, let's do a little check-in. In the chat, 
How you feeling? Toss in your emoji of how you feeling right now. Let's do a little emoji, emoji checkup, if you will. Um, so while you're doing that, I do want to give, you know what? I spent a lot of time writing this book and I genuinely think this book is going to help you in your classroom. It's gonna, it's gonna ins inspire, maybe inspire you more than anything. It's a, it's a read with me. And one of the things that I feel like, I've never been the smartest dude um, in, in the room. I've never been, you know, the most talented, but I'll say this, I'm, I've always been pretty approachable, I think. I think I've been approachable, and I think what this is, I've tried to be as relatable as possible. I'm talking about my experiences, things I've run into in the classroom, what I've learned as a teacher and as an administrator and as a student, what I learned. And so this is the Baller Teacher Playbook. Uh, if you're interested in, in checking this out, I highly, I highly, I recommend, of course I recommend, it's my book. It's not the best book on education, but I think it's good enough to help you in some way. Um, it's got a lot of practical experience in it. I've got quotes, um, that's a do you boo boo, I could have picked a better chapter. Here's one thing, I wanna show you one thing that I did at the end of each chapter, because I know teachers, okay? I've, I've put in practical application, i put in reflection, because we know reflection is important, even though we never have time to do it, but it's got spots for you to write that in, so this is something you can work on by yourself or with your team. Um, but here's the part that I did, and this is legit just for teachers. I don't know if you can see that. I put in, at the end of each chapter, I have a section called TLDR. It stands, that's internet talk, for too long, didn't read. So what that means is, let's say you've got a team meeting, okay? Because 18, there's 18 chapters in here. That means you and your team, or you and your building, you can go through a chapter once a week, and meet on your planning period, and spend 10 minutes talking about what you did, what you tried, what worked, what didn't work. Um, stuff to, to help improve your class and improve your students. Every week you can do that. Have you ever done this? In the chat, be honest, you ready? Have you ever had a team meeting where you're supposed to read something and you're walking over to the meeting and you're like, oh no, I forgot to read the thing I'm supposed to read that we're gonna discuss for like 15 minutes. So you like just try to chill and like hopefully don't get called on or get called out for not reading it. At the end of each chapter, I have a section called TLDR where in like two to five bullet points, I summarize the chapter. So you could be walking to the meeting, you could read these three or four bullet points and be able to have a conversation about the entire chapter. There's stories in here, there's practical experience, there's you know ways that I messed up, ways that I failed, and, uh, and then ways that I, I feel like I succeeded, and just talking through what I learned from both of those. And I would love for you to learn and grow with me. So if you wanna check out that book, it's on Amazon. I'll have a link on the screen if you wanna get it. Uh, link is in my bio. I've got I link links everywhere to it. So Baller Teacher Playbook. I think it can help you in your classroom. Okay, we're about to get started. Back, kick back into it. Hopefully you're ready to roll, ready to go. And uh, let's let's jump back in. Let's jump back in like Michael Phelps. Okay. Well, that, does that work? Does that work? I mean, he jumps into the pool. That's what I was going for. I need to know more like high diver. High divers would have been better. I'll tell you this. We're gonna, we're gonna stick the landing like Carrie Strug. Y'all remember her? Carrie Strug, remember the Olympics? Georgia Olympics? Atlanta, Atlanta Olympics, you remember that? Eh, it's okay. It's a, it's a very narrow, narrow reference. All right, let's get started. Let's kick it off, let's jump back in. Get your notes out, get your screens pulled up, get your, you get your coffee ready, get your ice water, your sweet tea. If you're from, from Arkansas like me, you know you like that sweet tea, and we're about to kick it off. Here we go, let's get back in. Get back in it. Let's get back in it. I'll see you guys. All right, welcome back. So this next session, okay, thank you. Great job with the Google Classroom headers. Now we're gonna make something else, okay? We're gonna step it up. Like that was beginner level, creating Google Classroom headers. Now we're about to crank it up a notch and we're actually gonna make some lesson plans with using Canva and then we're actually gonna import it into Google Slides. So we're gonna incorporate some Google Slides stuff into this. So we're gonna create with Canva, we're gonna export it as a JPEG or a PNG, not a PDF, and we're gonna import it as a background and util and like adjust it and make it into Google Slides. So we're actually gonna do Canva and Google Slides in this next session. If you don't wanna make it exactly like I'm making it, that's totally cool. Make one that you want to use. Make something that actually works for you in your classroom. And then the mindset is, this is something I can adjust and either use for myself, share with my team, or share with students or parents, okay? So that's the mindset as you're creating it. Okay, let's get to creating, let's make this. Go into Canva, let's make this happen. You can follow along, I would love if you did follow along, I think that would be fantastic. Uh, if not, that's totally cool. So let's do, my goal is I'm gonna make a generic lesson plan. You can even get more specific and detailed, like put your name in it, put a photo of yourself, you can do whatever you want in the video. So let's do lesson plan. Here we go, we're gonna go, look at that, boom. 
Canva's got a ton of templates already made that you can edit and adapt and make what you want. Okay, we wanna go with a regular piece of paper. Now you could print these off. My thoughts are it's gonna be more helpful if you can make it to where you click the links. Paper, like here we go, check this. Paper, it's hard to click the links on paper. Okay, I love paper, you just saw me. I have a notebook I use every day. But um, let's see how we wanna split this up. I want this, ooh, this one's not bad. We're gonna look around at some templates and see which one we like the most. Let's see, I've got it right now in one, two, which we can adjust the categories. Let's see, this one doesn't look bad. This one's pretty clean. Let's do this one. This one's not bad and I can adjust my backgrounds. Okay, so when I click on it, what it does is it makes a copy of that for me in Canva and now I'm gonna be able to go and edit my version of this. So good, so great, right? So good, so great. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna call it, what's well, not gonna put a date on it. I'll just put lesson plan right here. And then I don't, I don't want, I would put Mr. Tarver's class, but I want this to be able to be used by anybody. Um, you know what? There we go. Yeah, let's do this. So what we'll do is we'll have the class period on there. I think that can stay. I think that's pretty solid. Uh, let's change the background, make it look like stuff that I do. I have kind of a, like a look and feel. So we can go to my folders and we'll go to my, got some baller, baller stuff or some baller teachers. Baller teacher playbook was up. Um, ooh, ooh, let's do this. How cool would this be? Okay. I'm tossing that on there. Definitely going to toss my logo, my baller, certified baller teacher on there. I'll give it to you guys. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this hardwood background. I'm going to just drag it over and I'm going to drop it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I need to change this color, make it a little bit darker. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to add, ooh, what do you think? Should we add this? That one's pretty cool. Let's do both. Why not? You know what? It's our lesson plan. We can do whatever we want. So let's go take this. Let's put it right here. And then we're going to move lesson plan here. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging. This is super, um, super user friendly. Okay. And then if I want to add this in, I've already imported these in. So I can just click and adds it in. I'm going to say you're a certified baller teacher because you are. How's that? There we go. Certified baller teachers. It's my template. I guess I can do whatever I want. Okay. Is that too much? It feels like too much. I'm just going to leave that. We'll leave that on there and we'll do this lesson plan. There we go. And it gives you some room to play with it. If you want to put something up here, you can put your name in there. It's all up to you. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Google slides. So what would it be important? Let's see. I have class period. I think that's important. Um, but I need some more stuff in there. So I'm going to move this circle over. So we got class period. What else? I think we should do whatever week it is. Wouldn't that be helpful? Move it up. Um, oh, you know what would be sick? Okay, I got an idea. Watch this. Okay, so we're going to move that. All I did, oh, to do that, I'm going to explain how to do that. So I selected all of this. Click, drag, and select. Then on your keyboard, you can hold the option button. And then when you click and drag it off of it, it creates a new one. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we can just say, um, want to put up here, want to put um, week number. And so then you can put in the week. Let's see. So week, I would say day. How about this? Let's put day. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, like a Monday. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to be bigger. I just want to go further out. There we go. Nope. That's not working. Let's try this. Oh my goodness. Can I zoom in? Okay. We're just going to go here and I'll just make the text smaller. Okay. So I don't want that day to be so ginormous. So what size are these? I'm clicking on it. It's 13.2. So we're going to make this one 13.2. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add, um, I want to add it to where they can, you can, in my mind, I'm going to make it where it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then when I make my Google slide, I'm going to do it to where you can drag like a circle over the top of it. I think that'll be kind of fun, right? Monday, Tuesday, 
Tuesday. Give me a zero. I don't want a zero. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to copy the space in there. And I'm going to put it right here. Okay, if you're doing this with me, we're, we're doing it. You're adjusting whatever you want. This will be Thursday and Friday. Oh, nope, not find. Friday. Friday, Friday. In the comments, one to 10, how much do you love that song, Friday? Okay, I'm spacing these out a little bit more. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's going to help you get an idea of your week. Um, there you go. And those look spaced out. They look different. Is that better? Those look pretty even. I think we can use one more here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, you're getting to see the process of creation. So, okay, that definitely doesn't look right. Okay, remember, undo is Control Z if you're on a PC or a Chromebook. It is Command Z if you're on a Mac. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling, people. We're rolling. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our lesson plan. I think we can actually make this even bigger. Okay, so we've got our date. We're going to be able to drag and drop a circle over it. we got our week number, which we can just write in. Um, let's see, class period. Uh, what do we need to do? Class period, I think that's good. You could say if it's like a specific class period. And you're, we're going to make it with a Google Slides. You can build it out. You can shrink it down. You can have the options um, to adjust that however you want. Okay? Um, should I put like another logo in here? I, get, like, I love the Baller Teacher logos. Stephen Overturf, shout out. So we could do Baller Teacher logo. What do you think? Does that look pretty sick or not? Baller Teacher logo. Hey, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Y'all like that? If you don't like it, I mean, just don't use the template. Okay. Baller Teacher lesson plan. I mean, that's pretty sick, right? Do we like that? I mean, I kind of like it. Uh, maybe I'm a little, uh, maybe I'm a little, uh, what is it? What is it? Biased? Because, you know, it's the logo to my book. Baller Teacher lesson plan. Let's, let's just stick with it. Is that cool? I don't know what looks good. I'm not a designer. If there's any designers out there, please don't criticize me. I'm doing my best here. Okay, so here we go. Um, I think that's too much. That's too crowded. We're going to delete it. I'm sorry. I keep wanting to make fetch happen. Quit trying to make fetch happen, Tyler. Okay, lesson plan. Um, we got the week number. We've got the class period. Um, ooh, you know what we should put up here? Unit. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Uh, we're going to move this up. And then I think I'm going to try to fit this in under here. Let's see if this fits. Can we do this? Is this happening? We're making fetch happen? Nope, it's too scrunched. Let's go down a little bit. Okay. We're going to hit the up. If you select it, you can go up a little bit. It's going to look at that. That's not bad. I'm going to make this go down a little bit. There we go. We're getting our spacing. Okay. Okay. So we got the week number, we got the day, we got the class period. So let's do, um, is there anything else? Anything else? Throw in the chat. What are some other things that we could toss on here? If somebody's making one of these um, in real time, I said units, so we'll do that here. So I'm going to toss that option over. I'm just going to drag and drop. So that creates this. And I can change this to unit. Okay, I want you to be able to put in, like, oh, we're doing chapter five, or we're doing, you know, American Revolution. Okay. There we go. Let me this. Okay. Okay. Spacing is really wigging me out, and I apologize if it looks trashy. Okay. So we've got week number, day, class period, unit. Um, let's see what else. We could use, let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. We could do, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We've got objectives. I think that's solid. Um, and then this could be overview. I kind of like overview, to be honest with you. And then we've got warm-up, presentation, and assessments. Here's what I'm thinking. A lot of times the warm-up is just like a link to something, like a link to a video or something you've done. Um, I think presentation also is link. And then um, assessment, I think that's a link as well. Because a lot of times, like we're not going to write in a lot of this. We're going to link to it because I'm thinking this is like a virtual activity. So here's what here's what I want to do. I want to make them to where they're all links, okay? So we're going to shrink this down, okay? 
I'm going to call this, um, what did I say? We've got objectives. We've got overview. Should that be standards? I think that should be standards, right? Let's do that. It's so important. Everybody cares about standards. All right. Um, then we got, I've got like an idea of some things I could throw in there. So let's do warm up. Warm up. And actually, I'm going to get rid of these dots. Like I'm just thinking through what does this look like? You know what you could do if you wanted to? If you made a lesson plan you liked, you could create it in Canva and then just use that template to build out, you know, uh, you could build out like every day, go in and like add the page or duplicate the page and put it in. I wouldn't, but you could, you have options. Um, should I put teacher name? Well, you know who you are. You know who you are. Okay, so let's take this warm up section and we're gonna make a copy. I'm holding option and dragging the new copy here. And then I'm gonna go and do another one. Option, drag the copy here. Okay. And then I'm gonna say on we got warm up is good. Then we're gonna do um, then we could do presentation. So how do you present it? Either video links or um, maybe uh, what else could be presentation, could be a video link, could be linked to next to your website, could be your video, could be a slideshow, whatever. And then I think we do assessment. Oh, well, I got assessments at the bottom. Presentation. Let's call this one supplementary resources. Supplementary resources. Supplementary, my dear Watson. We'll just put supplementary. Okay. And I've got the opening to Guardians of the Galaxy stuck in my head. So let's move this up. Okay, it looks like it's pretty even. Okay, so I've got assessment and exams. I don't know why that's on here. I say this is going to be reflection. reflection. So is there anything else in my notes I think is important? Put reflection, put assessment, presentation, warm up, objectives. I think all this is pretty good. Are you guys cool with all this? Let's move this down because we're a little scrunched. Scrunched up. Here we go. We're going to go take all this, click and drag. And then we're gonna move this down here. Let's do it right here. And then you know what? We'll give me a shout out because you know I made it. I mean, why not? It's mine. Um, let's add, let's take this. I'm gonna hold option, make a copy, and then I'm gonna be like, that's too much. I'm just gonna go at Tyler Tarver, and then we can do uh, tarveracademy.com. And then we're gonna shrink this down because we don't want myself being thrown out there like this. So we're going to shrink that down. It's okay. If you make a resource, if you're creating a resource, it is okay to say, hey, I made this resource. You know, like I think that's, I think that's perfectly fine. But then again, I guess that's my, that's my opinion. Y'all seen that, uh, have y'all seen that meme where it's like, that's sorry, that's my opinion. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we toss that in there. If anybody wants it, there they go. Okay. There you go. All right. So we've got that. Let's make this like a little bit bigger because, you know, Keller Bala teaches. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if you do like an outline on this thing. What do y'all think? Would it look good? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. Let's make sure all of our stuff's lined up. Does this look like it's got our spacing correct? There we go. Now it's better. How are these? We could spread these out a little bit. You know, we scrunched them up a little to, uh, to fit everything in. So. Let's see, go up, go up, and goes up, goes down. All right, there we go, class period. So right here, this will be like your informational stuff with regards to like when this is happening, like week, day, class period. And then this is the unit. Should I put subject? Ooh, subject should be up here. Yep, I think we should. Let's do this, we're gonna do one more of these blocks. We're gonna do option, Actually, maybe subject should go over here because this is our location stuff, like date and time and everything. And then maybe this over here should be our subject area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this up. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Hold option. Go up. I don't want to do too much. That's the thing with um, that's the thing with whenever you create, create um, anything for teachers, it's not like we have a ton of time. Subject. Should be subject, of course. I would do subject. Actually, course. I'm sorry. I talked myself out of it. Okay. Of course. 
There we go. Okay. So I think we've got on the left side, I think we do a good job of saying like, hey, here's when this is happening. On the right side, I think we do a good job of that one. I'm going to change the color of this to give it some variation. So let's take this. I'm going to hit the text. And then I'm going to change that color to, let's do this. There we go. That way it pops a little bit. And then I'm going to put one space here because this is wigging me out. Is that good? It's too much? Okay, the M and the T look like they have too much space. Sorry, I'm just trying to fill this out. Okay, I think I literally just undid everything that I did. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I think that's pretty good lesson plan. I think it feels, I feel pretty solid about it. Sweet. Okay, so now here's what we want to do. We are done with it in Canva. We're done with building this. This is the background. Now, I could print this off and make this, hey, there's your lesson plan, print it off. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to hit download. You do not, because I want to put this as a background in Google Slides. I do not want to do this as a PDF. Now you could save it as PDF. Say you just want to print it. It'll give you higher, like clear printing stuff. But I think what I want to do is I want to do a PNG or a JPEG. I'm going to go PNG just because I think it's higher quality for you save some space. So I'm going to download. Let that download. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we are going to create, um, we're going to put it in a Google Drive, or not Google Drive, we're going to, we are going to put it in our Google Drive, but we're going to put that into a Google slide. So what I recommend, whenever you're making this, do not start with a blank Google slide. Use something you've already done, copy it, and then adjust that. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to do, I think I've got, do I have a folder just for, no, templates on slides. So I do have a folder for slides. So we're going to go here. And I want to go in and I want to make a copy of lesson plans. There we go. And we'll just do weekly, weekly lesson plans. Cause I've been making stuff in full semester, but I don't think people care about that to be honest with you. So um, we'll just do weekly lesson plans. I'm going to do right click. I'm going to do make a copy. Remember, do not start from scratch. You can use any of my templates. They're all linked to my website. Tarver Academy. I didn't take this off. I'm sorry. Tarveracademy.com slash resources. If you want any lesson plans, any of that stuff, it's all there. And if you're on the honor roll, you know, you're going to get that. So Tarveracademy.com slash resources. Start it. Make a copy. I give you permission. Make a copy of that stuff and then adapt them to fit what you need in your class. Okay. Sweet. So lesson plans. We'll call this one. Um, I don't want to title this because I've already got some lesson plans, but I need to, how could I title? I could title this. I'm trying to think of something that differentiates. These honestly look more high schooly than my last ones. My last lesson plans, these are more, they feel more, um, you know, sixth, seventh grade and down. So I think that maybe we can do high school lesson plans here. And that's how I'll kind of, we'll title those. So we'll do um, high school. All right. And there's just some info about me. I put this on all my templates that I give out for free and just helps them out. So um, here's the reason. I've already got my backgrounds kind of set up. I've got, look at this. I've already got my templates. I could pull down and use any of my navigation stuff I've created. You have access to all this if you go make a copy of one of my free resources. So you'll have access to all of these slides and templates that I've made. Now we go in, I'm going to do this. I feel like this is all pretty clean. Um, I don't feel like I need to do anything to that. It all looks good. Actually, I might move this box down. It bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to take this box, take this box. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. I'm going to do it with a little, oh, never mind. That worked. Okay. I clicked to add the title of the course. I made a little navigation page to where you can click and it'll bounce to whatever day of the week you want. I just think that's convenient. Um, and then I've got these two slides. I always put in these two slides. I think they're super helpful for um, for students and educators alike. Make it a hub. This can be like your quick links. It's almost like a bookmarks bar or things that you go to frequently. You can put those right here. Then we want to leave this where they can put the week number in. I think week at a glance still applies. Now, here's my other lesson plan. Do you see where this feels more like maybe it's made for lower grades because it's like talking about activities, starters, all that? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go in and we are going to import our new background now, I could just import the background and put it in there and replace it, but I want to add this as a actual like, um, I want to add it as an actual like piece in my master collection. 
So I'm going to go to View, Master. Then I'm going to go to it. Go to Master Slides. This is where you can go in and create stuff that's in your drop down. Okay. I highly recommend, especially once you get comfortable with creating resources, start building out some master slides. You're going to be able to add to your repertoire of things that you are creating. And these are just some of the ones I've made over the past, you know, six to eight months. And so let's go in. I'm going to find my lesson plan one. Where are you, little buddy? I've already seen it. Where is it? Lesson plan, lesson plan. Lesson plan, lesson plan. I'm singing to stall to find my lesson plan. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I don't want, because I could just change it right here. I don't want to change it yet because I want to have this as an option as well. I want both of them as options. There it is. Lesson plan. Found it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I want to hit option, drag, just like we talked about with Canva. And then actually I'm just going to hit copy. Select that, hit command copy, and then command paste. And then it's going to do it. It's going to do it. It's going to do it. There it is. Okay. So now I've got two of these. I'm not going to mess it up. I need to title it. This one I wish I would have done. I could go in and do it. It would take me like 10 minutes. But I need to go in and I need to title it. I'm going to call this um, Lesson Plan High School. Rename. And I want to put this. I'm naming the slide um, High School. OK, now I'm going to import that background that we just created. And it's up and it's up. Here we go. I'm going to go to background and I'm going to choose the image. And then I'm just going to drag and drop what I just created. Yeet. I'm just going to yeet that into there. Yeet. <laughs> Sorry. I love saying that. I coach my oldest son's soccer team and my younger son. But my older son, uh, I, I coach his team. And I like to say, um, I like to, I make the students say, the students, the, the players say yeet whenever they throw the ball in, you know, on the sidelines, they have to go yeet. And then whenever the goalie throws the ball out, I make him say yeet as well. I don't make him. I just I highly recommend it. It's not uploading. What's the deal? Let's just go to browse. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's working. I'm just doing it. I'm messing it up. Okay. So. Okay. I can hit this. I'm going to delete that text. Now I need to start adjusting some of this stuff. So like these, apparently I thought I'd made that in Canva. It looks like I didn't. I guess I made it in here. But with me making it in here, I can do this. I can do some of this little chicken nugget. I can move that over up. Okay. It's not really what I want, but we'll go with it. I'm creating my like text boxes. These are the spots where I'm going to, let's see. Let's see if we can zoom in. Are you going to let me zoom in? Nope. Cool. You're just going to skip around. Oh my goodness, go back. There we go. Okay, so I need to get rid of topic. Sorry, my computer is figuring out how to work. Okay, and you're doing this home, right? Are you guys doing this? You're like, oh no, I had forgot. It's okay. We're going to get there. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this down. I don't want text to get crazy. And you can choose the default for how this text goes. They added that in there, that feature. Good job, Google. Um, Not really what I'm wanting. I want it to go a little tighter. Nope. It feels pretty good, right? Pretty clean. Okay, so I'm going to clear, clear out this box. Okay, I'm just actually going to clear all this out because this is super complicated to look at all this. So we're just going to delete all of that. Excellent. So I've got this, and now I want, and I can choose right here. I can say do not auto fit. I want shrink text on overflow because I want it to shrink around the box. Okay. And you have a bunch of options there. So now I'm just going to hold option and I'm going to drag and put the other ones right here. There we go. Same thing here. Oh no, I messed that up. No, I did it right. Let's go up. Perfect. But I think it'll work. Unit. Let's go over a little bit so they have more room to work with. A more over here. Yeah, we got over here. Okay. Same thing here. I'm going to go and add these over. Add option. All right. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're almost done, everybody. We're doing great. 
Okay, I'm gonna add objectives. Remember, I've got it to shrink text and overflow, but I wanna give as much room as possible to work with. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Once you get one set how you want, it's a lot easier to adjust because you're just dragging and making your copies. So good. Okay, and this one I'm gonna make a little bit bigger because I've got more room. Oh, I wanted to make a number line. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Ugh. I wanted to make a number line. How did this lesson go? And then they could rate it on the number line. I guess I'll we'll just save that for the next lesson plan. Man, that would have been sick. I forgot about that. Okay. Now I need one of these. You're going to come with me. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. There we go. And we're going to make that duplicate there. There. Man. You guys having fun? Y'all doing this? Y'all feeling good? In the chat, let me know. What of this process have you not done? What of this process have you done? I would love to know. I would love to know. Okay, and we're going to bring that in a little tighter. There we go. Now we should have boxes on all of this. So let's see how this worked out. So we've got lesson plan. We've got this. I feel like I've got it. Remember, we're gonna. I'm going to show you how to do this part, and then you're going to get to do the rest of this. Okay. Sweet. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. So I'm just going to click over here on the left where my slides are. Not there. I'm going to click over here on the left where the slides are. That way I can click out of it. I'm going to go back to Monday, Monday. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I've got that. Now I want to go in and I'm going to add my new slide that I just created. So I'm going to click my drop down. I could have replaced these slides, but I didn't want to mess up this one in my master in case it's connected to any other presentations. So we're going to take this one. This is the one we want. Let's make sure we have everything the way we want it. Okay. Okay, it's a little, I don't know. It looks a little cluttered. Did I, I wonder if I need to set, oh, I've got to set shrink on auto flow. So I think we're good. You would just click to add the sub, you click to add all the text. I think we're good. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to delete my other slots. I'm going to click this slide and hit delete. And I'm going to click this. I'm going to scroll down, hold shift and delete that. And then I am going to create, I want to create something where they can drag over the top of this. Okay. So they could fill it in. They can, it looks like we're, we're, I think we're solid. Does this one go kind of long? Look how long that is. We don't need that. Oh, I, that's unit. That's not supposed to be there. Ooh, good catch. So we're going to view. Thank you. Whoever pointed that out. I'm going to go to master. And I'm going to go in and delete this because it don't belong. Get out of here. You was hiding in plain sight. Okay. I wonder if we can make this look better. Um, shrink on auto flow. It did that. I just don't want it to like run over the top of it. Maybe we turn this into, let's see. Should we change it? The text box style to make it just a text box. But I like the size of the subtitle. Let's we'll just leave it as is. Okay. You're going to fill it out anyways. So there you go. All right. So we got that. I think we're rolling. Where is this? Let's see. Okay. So I've got that. I feel like I'm good. Got all the stuff filled in. We need to create this. So I need to create a circle and I'm going to create a shape and it's going to be a circle and I'm going to put it right here. And then I want to make it a good circle, right size. Not right there. That's not where I want it to go. I want it to go down here, okay? Now, I want it to be a circle that goes around that. So actually, I'll make it a little smaller. There you go. I think that's good. We're going to find out in a second. So I need to make the middle of it transparent. So I'm going to click on this, make it transparent. And then I want to do, let's do this. Um, let's do the navy one because I've already got red in there. Is that navy? Did I select navy? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Boom. So we got navy. And then I'm going to make the border just a little bit bigger. So make it like a three. Is that good? Okay, let's try this out. So I'm pretending I'm a teacher. I'm like, oh, I want to circle what day it is. I'm going to click this and drag it to Wednesday. There you go. And then you'll be good. 
Okay, so I'm going to click this and go down. Actually, they can just do this. And then they can drag it over. Yeah, buddy. We're doing it. Okay, does that make sense? And they can drag it over the top of it. Okay. I'm going to make a text box telling them that they can do that. Just kind of got them. Hint, drag the circle over the day of the week. Do that. Make a bode. How about a little bit of spice? Actually, make it light. I don't want it to go crazy. We're going to change the font color. We're going to put it as red. There we go. All right, so let's just drag that over the top of this. And we're going to put it right here. There we go. People can delete that if they get sick of it. Okay. Hint, drag the circle over the day of the week. Solid. We're doing it. Make this bold. Just let Hint know it's bold. Hints are important. Okay. Now we've got one, so we need to make multiple pages of this. So all I'm going to do is select this, hit copy. And then I want to paste. I've got one day of the week. I need four more. So paste. Two. Three, four. Ooh, I forgot one thing I should have done. I could have made an invisible box for people to click my links on my stuff. You know what? We might as well do it. Y'all want to? We're in here. We might as well. Might as well. Might as well do it. Here we go. I'm just going to delete this and this. And delete. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an invisible link box. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shape. I'm going to do a rectangle. And I'm going to drag it over my information down here. Okay. Now, sorry, that was gross. Okay. So now I want to make it to where it is transparent on the inside and transparent on the outside. Now I want to make it link out to something. So I can make it link to my username or my website. I could have made two. We're here. Let's make two boxes. So I can do this over here on my name. And I can have it link out. I guess I'll have it linked to my Instagram. Why not? So Instagram.com slash Tyler Tarver because I do daily tips on there. So maybe they like that. And then I can just hold option, click and drag. Now I have a second one. And I can drag this over my here, my website. And now I can make it Tarver Academy. Academy.com. I think that's good. Okay. You know what we could also do? We could also do the same thing for the Butler teacher. If you want to be a Butler teacher, you can buy the Butler teacher playbook. So I can make it here. Now, people can delete this. Honestly, they're probably never even going to click on this, but it gives them an option if they want um, bit.ly slash Butler teacher. Apply. This transparent. This transparent. Bam. So now we have transparent there, transparent here. Unless I, did I just click it or did I make a copy? There it is. That one works. Did this one not work? I think I actually deleted it. Yeet. So I'm going to hold option. Make sure we're holding option. Making the copy. So I was afraid of this. Okay. So now let's adjust this back. Okay. Sorry about that. Now this is how, um, oh, that's not how you do it. Okay, great. Now you've done it. Now I need to go make those copies. So I've got a Monday one. Now I need to make it for Tuesday the rest of the week. Hit Command C. Then we got Command V. Wait for it to pop up. I think it went too fast last time and I lost a little bit of steam. Paste it again. That's three, four, and five. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever I go in. Let's take this through the whole process. Is that cool? So we went to Canva, we created the background. Toss into Google Slides, made this. Now, you want to make this resource available to anybody, okay? So what you're going to do, let's make sure we got everything. One, two, three, four, five, five days of the week. Uh, this got moved. What is this? I think I, oh, man, I put the days of the week in there wrong. So let's do this. I need to drag these three up. It's always good to check it again. I almost sent it out, and it was going to look ratchet. So go right there. Okay, so now we're good. It flows into the days of the week. Then big reflection from the week. End of the week reflections. And then lesson plans by me. What's up? Okay. Sweet. Um, I think we're good to go.
Okay. And also I have this slide in the beginning. It's just kind of like telling people about myself, stuff I offer, the free things they can be uh, connect with, and then some of the stuff they want to upgrade. Okay. So you can do the same thing there, especially if you're giving free resource. I don't feel bad. Honestly, I do this page on teachers pay teachers as well. If I toss it on that now I want people to have it. So I want to put share and then I want to say anyone with the link can view. Okay. This just takes out any access issues you might run into later. So we're going to go to change and we want anyone with the link. Okay. So done. Now, anyone with the link can view it. I don't want that because then you're going to have people requesting access. You're going to have people hitting you up. You don't want that because then you're going to see people in here. If you ever go change it, this is what I recommend. Go up here. You go to your address bar and then somewhere near the end of your address bar, there's going to be the word edit, E-D-I-T. You want to find that. And then you want to highlight everything from the E and edit all the way to the end and delete it. Then you want to type copy. When you do that. I'm going to copy the whole link now. You've created a force make a copy. So for your resource, when somebody clicks the link, it's going to force make a copy. So now I want to go to solo, which I highly recommend. Let me give you the link for solo. If you don't have solo and you're making resources or you're, I honestly now recommend teachers instead of creating a Google site or a Wix, I tell them just create a solo account. They have free ones, but they also have some pretty affordable paid ones. I'm going to, okay, hold on. Let me add this on here. It's bit.ly slash Carver Solo. Do it through me um, because that way they just get, they just like it whenever I, um, whenever I recommend people to their website. And if you ever do pay, it doesn't cost you any more, but then I get like an affiliate amount. So I get like a little, like some change on that every month because you did it. So I highly recommend, especially if you're creating resources, doing stuff, everything you do is trying to add to the greater library of what you're doing. Um, and it's also better if you do it this way, you can get a better account just because you're recommending it to people and you're helping them out. So I'll go to my solo, I'll go to my page that I've already created. Now I want to go to, I want to go down I want to add a link. So I'm going to add new link. And that's where I'm going to put my link in here. Bam. And then I want to title it um, high school, school lesson plan. Okay. And then a custom, uh, and I'm going to tell them Google slide. I try to be as clear as possible with what I'm offering because I have a ton of resources on my solo. So it's like, I need to be specific Google slides template. Okay. A lot of people, what they'll do when they create free resources is like you go to their website and you sign up for their email list to get the free resource. I haven't done that yet. I probably should. I'd have way more people on my email list than I do, but you know, you live in, you, you live in, you learn. So I'm going to hit custom thumbnail because I went and created some custom thumbnails for this. I think they're on my desktop. Um, I need to sort by kind. I think it's under thumbnails. And it's good to have these things in places you can find. Sorry, that's my dog. I want to create these. It's a template. There we go. Hit open. I need to create. I don't like this design that I made. I try to make it clear. I just, I'm not a fan. I'm going to go in and change them soon. Hit done. Now I'm going to move this down a little bit. Don't want it to be like my number. my books. First one, then my website. I just kind of want to order of importance there. I'm going to scroll down. Where, where are you at? Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. TikTok teacher conference was up. Going to keep rolling these down. Adaptive quiz template. We'll put it under there. And I'll, I'll move it down later. Um, the thing with solo is you got to make sure to save it. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to hit save. Bam. Now, whenever people go to the link in my bio, they're going to be able to see this resource, click it, and it makes a copy for them. So there you go. That's how you make that resource. We use Canva, we import it into slides, and then we put it into solo. The whole process. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, throw it in the chat or hit me up. We'll answer them. We're going to keep learning together. Peace. Bye. What up? Welcome back. Hey, Tyler here. How are you doing? How are you feeling? In the chat, let's do emoji check. And how are you feeling right now? Have you learned? Oh, no, no, no. To this point, what is something that you are going to try in your classroom or implement that you might not have wanted to, um, you know, an hour or two ago? What is something you're wanting to implement in your classroom? Put that in the chat right now. I'd love, I'd love to see it. I know the other people in the chat would love to see it. I know it'd be some great input. So throw that in the chat and uh, and give you, and then you can also copy paste and put in your notes um, just so you don't forget. Make sure everything you're doing, you're keeping notes of. Keep links to it, all of it. 
because I want you guys to be able to access and actually make your classroom better. I've sat through enough PDs in my life, professional development in my life, that I don't remember one thing from. I pray that you walk through this. I am hoping that you get something out of this training that you can take and use, you know, once a day, once a week, once a year, once a decade, something that you use and implement, whether it's a mindset or a skill set or, or, or just any type of framework to build your classroom and make things better. Okay? Speaking of making things better, making ourselves better, I do want to give you um, I want to give you some thoughts on something that I offer a community that we have at uh, Tarver Academy that I think could add you a ton of value. It could help you. Um, get better all year because right now we're getting better with PD uh, with professional development Hopefully you're getting better right now this summer You're gonna hopefully glean some information some knowledge some experience and you're gonna get a little bit better I want us to get better all year. I want us to get better all throughout the year And Here's the thing with teachers. We do not have time to go sit through a six-hour professional development once a week so what I did was I created a community called Tarver Academy. And it was based on teachers telling me they wanted resources, they wanted a continuation of these trainings, of templates, of resources. They wanted to be handed to them because if you go out and search for it, you're gonna find random stuff. They wanted stuff that, that could be applied to their classroom, that they can sit there, bite-sized professional Ooh. development for busy teachers. That's Tarver Academy on a roll. And I would love for you to join if you want to. Don't. If you don't have to, don't pay for it. It's not very expensive at all, but I don't want you to have to pay for it. I would rather you use your district's professional development money. So if you want, have them go in, order that for you. What happens if you sign up for the Tarver Academy on a roll, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add you value. Do you wanna get better as a teacher every week, but not have to go out and search for it? How about if we just hand it to you in an email? In the email, every week, you're gonna get either a template, a resource, um, you're gonna get a short PD video, professional development, a training to show you how to do something you might not know how to do or reinforce you something you're maybe already trying. You're gonna get something that makes you better every week plus some quick tips, links to some other things and also you can ask me questions. I have a mailbag where you get to ask questions and that's that's the list I'm gonna pick from first. I wanna help you guys. If I don't wanna do it, I'll do the research for you. I'll build, you're like, oh, I really wish I had a digital interactive notebook. Guess what I'll do? I'll go in and I'll build digital interactive notebooks and I'll give you the template. You don't have to pay teachers, pay teachers. You don't have to go in and throw the money at anything. I want to just hand it to you and I want to do trainings for you to help you. So if you want to join that community, I think it's super helpful and it's essentially where I become the tech facilitator for you. It's net, it's Netflix for teacher resources and I would love for you to join and jump on that. So if you want, go there. It's tarveracademy.com slash on a roll and you can sign up for that. Um, and I think it's just gonna be a huge, it's gonna be it's gonna be a huge help to teachers throughout the year who have a lot going on and not a lot of time, extra time to go out and do it. It's like teach as teachers, they always give you more stuff to do, but they don't give you like, oh, here's like an extra three hours a day to go out and do whatever it is you're gonna do. So if you wanna sign up for you, that, you can. Um, I hope you've used this time also to use the restroom. So if you're just getting back, using the restroom, guess what? We've just been talking about Tarver Academy on roll. No big deal. But I'm gonna give you guys, guys time to go do that and get a snack if you need it. Whatever you need to do, we're about to kick back into it. We're about to jump back in it. We're gonna fall back into the gap. Fall into the gap. Fall into the gap. Man, do y'all remember that? That was a good, that was a good campaign. That was memorable. It was, wasn't it? Memorable? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're about to get started. Uh, we'll get started here very soon, and we're gonna jump back in. We're gonna keep learning. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. We're still doing this. In the chat. Here we go. In the chat. I want you to tell me the name. Okay, ooh, don't say that. I was gonna say, tell me the name of, you know what? You can do that. Tell me the name of a teacher who, who made an impact on you and what they did. Why did they have an impact on you? In the chat, what name of a teacher or uh, an educator that had an impact on you and what they did to have an impact. It was either the way they treated you, the way they, they ran their class, or the way they inspired you, or just the way they had structure maybe. They were reliable, they were consistent. I would love to hear in the chat, name of a teacher that, that motivated you as a student or as another teacher and what they did. So let's throw that in the chat and we're about to get started. We're gonna jump back into it. We're about to get started. We're gonna jump back into it like, like a pogo stick. See that? See what I did there? Nope. Okay, all right, let's get going. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, so this next section, we're actually gonna make a Google Forms header in Canva. I know, you're thinking, I've never thought to do that. 
Yes. Now, when you make yours, you don't have to make one just like mine. I'm going to give you some ideas. You can make it to where it has instructions for students. It's like a fun way to make instructions. Or you can think this could be just my classroom reminders, whether it's your procedures, your rules, the vision for your class, stuff that your class is like that loves, like pictures of your students. You can create that and put it into this Google Forms header. So let's learn how to do it and work and make one with me and then import into a Google Form. Here we go. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler here, and I wanted to walk you through how to create your own Google Form headers for your classes or for your resources, for any your school, anything you're wanting to do. Um, a great option for this, if you are doing it for like an entire district, you can create some really cool headers and it would be a good way to brand your district across all of your classrooms. You can put it in as a template and then share it with your teachers, your students. Everybody can use that to, you know, show that you're all part of the same organization. You can even put <clears throat> like procedures in your header for what you want students to do. If you're a teacher creating it, you could put the name of your class and then, hey, don't forget these procedures, bam, 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 you know, or your values or pretty much anything. Your The possibilities are limitless. Limitless. So right here, you can see this is one that I have. Um, this is the same header I think I have for my YouTube channel. Uh, they call on YouTube they call it your your cover art, thumbnail art. Nope, cover art. Thumbnails are the videos. Cover art is what they call it on your YouTube page. But this is what we've got. So this is the this is my header, and to insert that, all you would do because traditionally they come like this. Like that looks like a traditional Google form. Bam. This is, adds a little bit of add a little bit of spice to it. So to add that in there, all you got to do is you go to customize theme and this is where you would upload that header. OK, so what we're going to do today is I want to walk you through how to create a header for your Google Forms. OK, so there's a couple different places. By the way, if you want this classroom discipline form, I have a copy. If you want, just go to this website right here, tarveracademy.com slash resources. Sometimes I sing, but now I am done singing. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, so uh, sometimes I get off and I just, you know, let the music take over. So whenever, uh, whenever you're creating these, you have a couple different options, a couple different places you can make it. I have one that I always recommend for anything, design, graphic, anything like that, and it's Canva. Canva is by far my favorite. I used Adobe Spark for several years. It was great. Um, I've used, I've done Photoshop. I've used Illustrator. I've used a ton of different options for creating graphic designs. Canva is by far the easiest. Now I'm not trying, here's the difference. If I like, if I like my buddy, Steven, he's an amazing graphic designer. He did the design for my book. See that cover right there? This little chicken nugget cover for my book. He did that and he is incredible and he would frown upon me advising you to use anything but Adobe Illustrator. However, a lot of us don't have the time to become as fluent as him in creating with Illustrator. Canva is, the easiest way to create something that looks good. You're going to get to like, if a hundred percent is like something my buddy Steven could make, you're going to get to, you know, 80 to 91% very easily for a lot less work. And so I use it because I just need to, I keep creating stuff and I need to get stuff out quickly. So I recommend Canva, go to bit.ly slash Tarver Canva, get you an account. They have a free account. They have education accounts and then they have paid accounts. So pick whichever one is best for you. If you do the education account, it opens up more templates and resources that you can use. And then um, and then you go beyond that and do a paid account. I think it's like, I don't know, 100 bucks a year, give or take 10 bucks. And they'll uh, you get even more. So the end. OK, I don't work for Canva, but I do uh, like to brag about stuff I think is useful and helpful and makes people's lives easier. So let's go in and we're going to create. So I'm going to go to Canva. Com. Loading up. Okay. <clears throat> now Google has like the best search, you know, ever, you know, you search Google, you can search Google photos, all that. It's an amazing search. Canvas search. If they had a browser, I might use it. It's incredible how good Canvas search is. Okay. So um, here, the first thing you need to do, and whenever you're creating a resource, you're creating a template or a header, anything like that, you've got to think through, what are the dimensions I need? Because you can make a cool, I could go in here and I could be like, oh, I want to create this cool design, blah, blah, blah. It might not fit. It might not fit with the dimensions of what you're trying to create. So this is how I do it. This is the, and I've got the tab up here from when I did it earlier. I just type in, you know, whatever it is I'm trying to make, Google Forms header dimensions. Hit enter. And then you look and find the dimensions. So we're looking for a 1600 by 400. You see this? 1600 
by 400. That way you're creating what you need to create. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Now, here's the deal. Canva, they have a lot of really good. So I could search like um, Google Classroom headers. And I'm pretty sure they have templates that are exactly made for these dimensions. They do. See this? Bam. Check out that little chicken nugget. Now, here's the deal. I don't want those dimensions. I want different dimensions. They don't have a Google Form header. I've already checked. Canva, you get on that. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Google Classroom header and then I'm going to adjust the dimensions to make it what I want. So let's look through here. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So I'm going to pick, these are just like templates you can start from. You can start from scratch or you can, you know, go up here and create a blank one. Um, I'm going to go to this one. I think it's pretty clean. I always like to start from something. So I'm going to click this and it's going to essentially generate a copy of that that I can edit. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit this. But the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't want to do all this work and then change the dimensions and then go back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to up here in the upper left. I'm going to go to resize. OK, this is great. Um, so let's say you make a graphic and it's a square and you want to put it on Instagram. Great. You make it. Boom. And they're like, you know what? I want to put this on as the thumbnail for the YouTube video. You can go to resize and it'll automatically adjust it. And then you can like make any change you need to, and it'll adjust it for a YouTube thumbnail. And then you can go in and make it uh, an Instagram story and you can change it to that. Just hit resize. That's your go-to. All right. And I'm going to show you some options on that. So resize is right there in the upper left. This is cool. It's fine. We're going to do something with it. I'm going to go to resize. And then I'm going to go to, so a lot of times you can search and find like, you know, common ones that you're doing. I want to go in and just put in this custom high. It's 1600 by what do we say 400 by 400 pixels okay now here's where you have an option okay i can either hit resize which means it's going to take what i just created and it's going to change it to the correct size or i can hit copy and resize so let's say you make that instagram graphic and then you want to make the youtube thumbnail and you want to make an instagram story out of it you might want to keep that original instagram one so what you would do is you would hit copy and resize this one i'm just going off of this like one graphic that I've created. So I'm just going to hit resize and I'm going to change the size of this actual file that I'm still in. Okay. So we've changed it. This is the exact dimensions now of this that that'll be shown. Okay. So if not, I would have to crop if I didn't have the right dimensions. So I'm going to change it. I can call this, you know, um, Mr. Tarver's class. Okay. And so I'm just going to adjust these kind of making that text pop out. I can do underneath it. I can do anything I want. I can put stuff. Look at that little robot. That's a friendly little robot. Okay. This little robot looks dangerous. I'm going to get rid of him. So you can just click on anything you want and delete it. I like this one's little rubbery arm. So I'm going to keep that little guy. This one looks like he's using the force. So it's like that little robot's using the force. And I like that. Okay. Now we can change colors in here. So like, let's say I want to change this background color. All I do is I click on, let me move this. I'm going to click right here. And then I can go up here to this color and change that, change that background color. I can make it red. I can make it navy. I can choose any color that my heart desires. And then I could click these, this navy part, these are overlays. So I could go here and click this and I can change that navy. Oh, that's not what I want. There it is. Okay. Changing that blob. Going to make this change. Boom. See? Look at those. Wow, this is so beautiful. I mean, I've, I don't want to say I've improved it, but I mean, it kind of did, right? So I'm going to cover, hover over it. Anytime you hover over an item, it's going to highlight the box. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just hovering over with my cursor. I can change this. Click on it. Now I have the option to change my font. So I can click this. I can go to, let's go knockout. That's the cover my book font. Um, I can choose this. And I can change the font color. We can go navy. Bam. Look at this. Okay. Do I need this one? I'm leaving this because I want to do something with that. I want to show you all later. Remember, I'm keeping in mind, this is, this is for my class. And so I want to do stuff that I know they're going to see at the top of Google Form anytime they go in there. So, um, the robot, those robots is chilling. Um, I could, if I wanted, I'm going to show you one of the coolest features in Google Forms. Um, actually let's do this first. So I, I want to show you if I'm thinking through, what do I want to do with a Google form? What would be most beneficial for me as a teacher? And that's to have instructions. 
Okay. So like, let's say that I was um, making a test. This is going to be the form for my tests. I could put procedures up here. That's really large. So I'm going to, sorry, my kids yelling. So I could change this font size to that. Okay. And then I could say step one, uh, make sure you're logged into your school email account. There we go. Now, right now I'm centered. Actually, no, I'm not. So there we go. Look at that. So I'm adding instructions. These are going to be able to be seen right here at the top of every Google form that students do. Like, yeah, you can do it to where it just looks cool and it's just like cool branding for it. But you could also put your values like, hey, we don't cheat. Um, you know, make sure you're not cheating. And then you can include what that is, you know, um, phoning a friend, a friend, uh, what, you know, Googling, et cetera. Okay. Three. Um, oh, by the way, did y'all see that Google Forms has added the feature where it gives you 30 days. You could save a Google Form and come back and work on it later. That's huge for teachers because not you had to like create a test that could be done in one class period because there was no, there was no um, extra time you could have. Three, um, we can say make sure you submit. Hit me up, HMU. Hit me up if you have any questions. Okay. Let's do this um, class. Let's do, I call it Mr. Tarver's class, um, test. Procedures. Boom, I could change that title up. Look at this. And I could change these robots. If you wanted to, I could, um, let's see, let's make this bigger. Okay, so I have more room to play here. So let's make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to click over here on this little edge, this upper right hand corner. I'm just going to drag. It's going to automatically make that larger for me. You're logged into your school account. Make sure you're not cheating, phoning a friend, Googling, et cetera. That overlay, there we go. Okay. I'm going to delete this little guy. He looks, actually, yeah, let's delete the little guy. He looks dangerous. I don't need that. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing, and then we're going to export this. So what I'm going to do is I want to go over here to uploads, because I want to insert a photo. So let's find a photo that I've created. I could have Martin Luther King Jr. He's cool. I like him. Do Beyonce. Let's do this. We could add um, me. I could add myself screaming. I guess that'd be weird to have my kids. So I'm going to add myself screaming. So I add this photo in here. Okay. I just click it and it adds it in. Now what I can do is this is this, this is just like one of the best features ever. You ready? I'm going to make it a little bit larger. My hair. I'm going to cut my hair off because it looks ratchet. Okay. Hey, I'm wearing the same. Look at that. This is, this is, wow. It's a special day. Okay. So I've got the photo. Click on the photo. And then in the upper left, go to edit. Now, there is a feature right here called background remover. Watch what happens when I click that. It is going to take the background out of my photo and just leave me as the photo. This is awesome. Uh, Apple has this. It's called like alpha something. Uh, I think is what they call it. But there we go. Now I could be in the photo. So if I can, I can move the robot. I can make him move over here. I want to change him. Look at there we go. Have a little robot. Do that. These are my test procedures. I can put myself here. Look at that. You can insert yourself into there. How cool is that? If you have a classroom mascot or logo, or say you got like a pet iguana for your class, you could put that in there. But I've got me looking super frazzled. So that's the idea. Um, that's what you could do for your tests. That's what you can do for your assignments, your homework assignments, give instructions, all of it. Um, you can do it to brand your school, your classroom. You could have students make them and you could alternate through the ones that your students made. Just a really fun uh, little thing you could add in your classes. This would work for anything else you're creating. You could search the same thing in Canva and create through there. Same for Google Classroom headers. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on download. You'll see that download, hit download. And then I want to roll into, I could do PNG file. It saves you a little bit of room as opposed to a JPEG, but you can click here and change those. We're just going to go PNG, hit download. It's going to download it to my computer. Now I'm just going to go to my 
Google form. That's not the one I want to use. Let's go and create a new form. So let's uh, let's go to Drive. Go into my Google Drive. I'm gonna find my Google form. Let's go to Resources. This is the part of the song where we're buying time till the thing gets done uploading. Here we go. Okay, so we're on Google Forms. So now I'm going to go to new, hit new, and I'm going to hit new Google Form. There we go. Took me a second. We're going to create it and share it because we love sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> okay. So I've got my Google form. Now I want to insert the header that I just created into this form. So I'm going to go to right here. Do you see this little, little Bob Ross, this little guy? Don't worry about this little guy. I'm just going to put this right here. We're going to click on that and we're going to go to choose image. Now, I could upload it. I can search the themes they have. I can go to the fo my photos. I want to go to upload. And then I'm just going to click and drag what I just downloaded in there. I could also hit browse and find it. It's set up perfectly because I changed my dimensions. It's 1600 by 400. I'm going to hit done. It is going to insert that into my Google form. Look at that. That is clean. That looks clean. Wow, you should create these for like homework tests, um, all of it. That would be incredible. That would be so incredible. Man, that would be the coolest thing ever, you know, when you think about it. So, okay, that's what I got. Thank you, guys. Um, go out and create yours. Create your own. Do your best. I'm done talking. That's not your Libre. Okay, bye, y'all. All right. How y'all feel? Y'all feel good? We're on the last session of our Canva our Canva training for education. And this one, I stepped it up quite a bit, okay? So on this one, I am actually going to be working with you on how to create a teacher app, okay? Now, it's, we're not actually gonna go in with no programming, no coding. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create some graphics with Canva, and then we are gonna go in <clears throat> and we're gonna make, like import that into Google Slides, and then we're gonna show you how to put that on a phone so parents, students, or you can have this quick reference app located on their phone, okay? Now granted, this is for an iPhone, so you have to figure out how to adapt that to Android if that's what you use, but this is next level. Last session, go in, play around with this. Even if you don't use it, it'll be really cool learning experience for you for not just Canva, but Google, Google Slides. Not just Canva, but Google Slides. All right, I'll see you guys. Last session, let's finish strong. Make some stuff, let's go. What up guys, Tyler here once again, Tarver Academy. And I wanted to go over something. I actually saw this idea on TikTok. So I'm gonna give credit to at Jess underscore rehearsal. I'm gonna show you her video where she talks about it. And then we are going to actually build it from start to scratch. So we're gonna start, we're actually gonna build it in Canva. She built most of it in Google Slides. We're gonna build it in Canva because that gives us another skill set we can use. And then we're gonna transition that into Google Slides all the way out to where we put it on our phone. So we're actually going to be creating a, like a classroom app. It's, it's technically a website that you're making, but it could also be um, an app for your, your parents, your students, whoever, your school, however you want to adjust it. But it's cool because you can make it and then update it and it stays updated at all times. And you don't have to pay anything extra because it's a Google slide. So I'm going to show you her video where she explains it. And then we're actually going to create the entire thing. So let's kick it to Jess. So I'm going to add Club her in. For an activity, you should definitely be using Google Slides to create an app. Students and parents can save it right to their phone desktop, and it's basically a hub for everything that you would need for your organization. This one is for um, my dance studio because we have our recital coming up, but um, I've done it for my classes. I've done it for my after school activities and shows. And basically it's just a Google slideshow formatted to the size of your phone and hyperlinked. Super easy, super simple. Let me know if you want a tutorial. Happy teaching. All right. Awesome. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you, Jess. I'm going to move her video over there. Please check her out. Follow her on, um, on TikTok. She's Jess underscore rehearsal. You can see it right there. So check her out. She is awesome. And I think you should follow her. So thank you for this idea. And we are going to get started. Okay. 
So um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go in and we're going to create our background. So if you want to go create this with me, you can. Um, so this is kind of like a create creation station, if you will. So I'd love for you to go in and create this. Um, if you want, there is the link bit.ly slash Tarver Canva. If you want to click on that, um, you'll be able to go in and go to your Canva account. If you don't have one, they have free accounts, um, which you should be able to use for right now. Um, they actually have free pro accounts for educators. So uh, you won't have time to do that. If this is the first time you're signing into it, you won't be able to do it today. Sign in for the free one. And then later you just got to show that you're a teacher and they'll give you access to the free account. Or if you want to do this personal, go ahead and purchase it. So I am going to share my screen so you can see me work this with you. Here we go. I don't need to be as big. I need to be smaller. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go to bit.ly slash Tarver Canva. And we're going to go into Canva and we're going to create the background. Again, you could do these backgrounds directly in Google Slides. I just like integrating another tool that you can use in your arsenal. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a design and we're going to kind of build it from scratch. OK, remember, you're building this with me at the exact same time. Um, but you don't have to use all the same templates as me. If you see something you like better, use that. I'm just going to make it with what I think looks cool. OK, so I'm going to go up here to the upper right. I'm going to go to create a design. OK, and I'm just going to do a custom size. So it'll be right here under custom size. And I want to do the width is four. And oh, we're going to do this in inches. Sorry about that. So we're going to go. There we go. Inches. And we're going to go four by 6.7. So I got those dimensions from uh, Jessica because that's where we're going to put the slides in. So we're going to go with this. So we're going to create a new design. So four is the width. 6.7 is the height. OK, so we're going to hit create new design. So the idea is this will be able parents, you'll be able to show them how to put this on their phone and then they can go in and they can click through and get to anything they want for your class. OK, again, it doesn't have to be just parents. It could be for students. It could be for, you know, whatever you want. OK. Oh, oh this is a cool design. Let me see. I would love maybe. Ah, I don't think it's going to work. I need more boxes. So let's look through. I'm going to find a design. That one doesn't look bad. We could do we're going to do when we see I counted out one, two, three. I'm using the same stuff as Jess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine and then an announcement section. So let's find something that looks dope. Um, man, there's some cool looking ones. You guys, if you see one you like, go ahead and use it. I'm going to look through and find the right one. I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to roll up here. Oh, that one looked kind of cool. What was that? Ugh, I kind of like that bingo one. Nope, nope. We're going to go up here. I saw it earlier. Okay, go ahead and pick yours if you want. I'm going to pick mine. I think I'm going to go with this one. I think this looks pretty cool. And I'm going to give you guys this template if you want afterwards. You can have it. So I'm going to roll up here and I'm going to make this actually the, um, what should I do that last? Okay, sweet. All right. So let's go in. We're going to delete this. I'm going to now, essentially, I'm thinking in my mind, this is like an app on your phone that you can click on. Okay. So I want to, um, let's go up here. We're going to create class. Kind of big. I'm going to make that a little smaller. You guys are doing this as well. Okay. Let's do 15. Okay. And then I'm going to shift this over to that side. Remember, you're making this what you want. Um, okay. Now I'm going to make one for a teacher. I'm going to make that smaller. So you can actually shrink like the spacing in there, I want to change that. So let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so I want to go in and change my letter spacing. Feels just a little bit too much. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna change my letter spacing. Again, you can make it however you want. And again, if you want this template, you can use my template. And we're gonna go class, teacher, I'm gonna spread that out a little bit, okay? All right, so we got class teacher. So what we'll do is we'll be able to put that in later in um, Google Sheets. If you're wanting, if you're creating this as, as you go, go for it. You can go ahead and put that in there. But um, we're going to do, 
Now we need to do our boxes, okay? And I'm gonna do nine boxes. So let's do, um, how do I wanna do this? Let's do, I kinda like this yellow. Mm. Should I do a different color? I think I'm gonna do yellow and we'll just go with the titles on it, okay? So I want to create, let's see if I can. All right, so we're gonna go to elements over here on the left and I'm gonna do um, box. See if we can find some boxes. Okay, so let's find something that kind of matches our style we're going for, or we could just go clean. Should we go clean? I might need to just go clean. Let's see. Ooh, or we could do list. That might be a good idea. That might be easier for people. No, let's do boxes. I like that when Jess did that, so let's do the same thing. Okay. So let's see. Um, or we could do outline. Sorry, I'm talking through. This is this is what I go through. Every time I create a resource, I'm like, oh, what should I do? We'll do these boxes. These look pretty clean. Um, no, let's do tear. Tear box. I want it to where it looks. Nope, that's a tear. That's not what I was going for. Um, this is not what I'm wanting. Let's do uh, not a box. What am I thinking of? I want this. What is this? What is this? Let's see if I can, uh, I can't. Okay, maybe I can make a copy of that and then I can change the color. Okay, let's change the color and see what that looks like. Okay, this is what I want. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Finally, sorry that took me so long. Sorry it took me so long to arrive at this location. Um, okay, so we're gonna delete that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we wanna make um, nine of these. I'm actually going to rotate it. So let's rotate this little chicken nugget. Okay, we're gonna make it fun. There's one little box. We're gonna hold option. So once you create one of your items, we're gonna hit option, click, drag, and then we can make duplicates of it, okay? So then we're gonna click and drag again. Okay, so these are too large, so I'm gonna actually make them smaller. So I'm gonna highlight all those little chicken nuggets, and I'm gonna make them smaller. Nope, that's not what we want. Nope, don't like that. <laughs> that's from uh, the office. Okay, we're gonna make those smaller. Actually, I think I might have messed up. Let's do this, okay? Thank y'all for being patient as we work through this. Not what we want. Delete that, delete that. I think we're gonna have to rotate it back. So let's hold shift and rotate it back. I think it's gonna work better because it is, I mean, it's a longer, it's longer, okay? So let's take that. We're going to, I'll hold option and I'm just gonna create a couple of these. I'm gonna move them around, give ourselves a little bit of, make this one. I'm holding off, every time I'm just holding option and I'm moving it, I'm gonna move that one there. Okay, look at us, look at us, we're really doing it. Okay, and then I'll do one more. We're gonna rotate that a little bit. Okay, man, this is fun, look at us, we're creating in Canva. I don't like the way these are working out, let's see. Maybe I should have just gone straight boxes instead of trying to be all like, look at my crazy. So there we go. We're going to go there. Look, we got a couple that are off center. I think that adds a little bit of element of fun. Look how fun that is. Just thinks I'm not doing my normal baller teacher colors. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We're going to get through this. Okay. So we got the class. We got the teacher. And then we've got some of this. We'll make that a little bigger. Mix it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So we did it. We made our little boxes. And then down here, we don't want Mandy Cooper. We want it to say announcements. Okay. Where is it? Right, announcements. Announcements. Okay. We're actually going to move that up. I want to give more space down here. Let's to write that. And so I'm going to take this here, highlight. I'm going to change that color to our yellow. Okay. Announcements at the bottom. So we've got class. We got teacher. We got all this now. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and export one of these so I can have a blank template for anybody that wants it. So I don't want to animate it. I'm going to put it as a PNG file. Remember, you can't upload a PDF into Google Slides. You can do a PNG or a JPEG. So we're actually just going to do PNG. Um, it's set up on animate. We don't want to animate it. We want it to just be a PNG file. So there is a generic one. And then now I'm going to go ahead and add the titles in there for you guys. So on the template, I'm going to have that. But I'll probably have this as like a backup for you. So let's roll into, let's take this. And we're going to go in and we're going to take this text. Remember, I don't ever start from scratch. I'll take this right here. I'll hit option. I'll move it over here. Let me change the title. Let's make it this color because it's going to be on brand. Okay. So let's take that. We need to change this to um, class site. Make this a little bit smaller. I think we can make it smaller. Give us more room. Okay. And then we're going to shrink that down. Okay. 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 So we're going to shrink this little guy down and you guys are doing this with yours, right? I hope so. I hope so. I think that'd be great. Okay. So we're going to do class site. We're going to do option. And this one's going to be contact me. A little bit smaller. So it fits. There we go. I wish I could make this. I want to shrink that down, but it's not working. Oh, well, it's okay. We're here. We are here. Okay. So now I'm going to keep, I'm going to zoom in. That makes, oh, why did I not zoom in? That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, everybody. I apologize for my actions. How do I make that small? I don't want that so big. Okay. Let's do this. I'm just going to create a new one, new text box. New text box. Okay, sometimes you got to cut your losses and roll in and create the new one. You guys are doing the same thing, right? You're going in, you're creating this. Um, I'm going to, I want that, I just want to go ahead and like copy paste my font because I want it to just be like, I don't want to start over and be like, what's that font? There we go. That's not correct. So we're actually going to have to do in. So it's League Spartan. And then we'll go in and change that font to League Spartan. If you do this, you're not going to have as many boxes to deal with in, um, actually, I kind of like my knockout. Remember, knockout's my font. I guess we probably should stay on brand. There we go. We'll just stick with what we did. Make this smaller. Okay. Then we're going to change this to, um, change the color over to our red. Okay, there we go. Now we can go up. We can do, let's change that size down a little bit. Go to nine. Okay. So we can take this and we're going to go up here. We could do a little rotation, make it look like it's actually on the bottom of that piece of tape. Okay. That says contact me. We don't need them both to say that. We need to change this to, what's the next one? Syllabus, S-Y-L-L-A-B-U-S. -L -L right, let's take this one. We're going to hit option. We're going to move it here to this. And then we're going to move the uh, same thing over here. We're going to adjust it. I'm, see how I'm doing this? Like I'm making copies of it so I don't have to like adjust it every time. I'm going, okay, these are the similar, like the way I did the copy there, syllabus. Let's go up here. We're going to change this one, turn it a little bit. We're going to change all these. We're not, we don't have this many syllabus. Syllabi? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Syllabus and syllabus. I always think of filibuster. Syllabuster. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay, excellent. Okay, so now let's go in and let's title these things. So instead of syllabus, that's not syllabus. Now I've like, what's the word in the chat? What is the word for whenever... Um, it stops being the meaning of the word and you're just looking at the letters. It was in Ted last, so I can't remember what it is. So parent info. So we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. Okay. It's not letting me like widen that. So we are gonna have to shrink the text. That's always what you want. Compromise. Okay, so parent info. 
Okay, we're gonna have pictures to this too because I think it's great. Parent info, links, should be a picture of link, obviously. Just kidding. Um, links, schedule, and we'll do um, about me. So get to know your teacher. We've got news and we got resources. Oh, bam, okay. And then we got announcements at the bottom. We're gonna shrink that down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there we go. I think we've got a pretty good start. Let's put some pictures on it and then we're gonna go in and create uh, one of the pages. Is that cool? Cool, okay. All right, so there's the main page and then we're gonna go in and add some elements. So let's go add elements. Okay, and then we're gonna do um, website. Awesome, okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we can do class site. Which one do we wanna go with? Let's go with this one, this one looks cool. So we just click it and it goes in there and then I can move it up here. Put it in there. Okay, now I wanna change the color, click on this. I wanna use my colors from my site. So we got that, we got contact me. Let's try that, contact me. We might do a telephone, oh, there we go, got a telephone. So we could do, we're probably not gonna want it to be a telephone, we probably want it to be email. So let's actually do email. Cause we don't want parents to call us, that'd be weird. We could, but let's do this, add that in there. Okay, I'm gonna resize. Drag it up into that. I hope you're doing the same thing at home. You're trying yours. You're creating it. We're going to upload it into Google Slides in a minute. I'm going to syllabus, S-Y-L-I-V-U-S. I have no idea what it's going to bring up for syllabus. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Well, this is good. So we could do um, any of these clipboards. Actually, this is a perfect one. Look at that. That looks so clean. Okay. We're going to toss that in there. Syllabus. We're gonna shift it just a little bit. That was a tilted one. We're gonna change the color. We're doing outlines, apparently. This is what I'm doing with this. So sorry if you didn't want that, if you didn't come here for me. So parent info, so let's do info. Oh, that's a good one. Well, that's a that classy. Let's do this one. That was my favorite, okay? So parent info. Okay. Okay, got that. That's a little that's a little large. Sorry about that. Let's make it fit what we're going for here. Now we want links. Let's check out the links. Okay, excellent. So let's go with that one. If that's obvious. Okay. Bam. And we got schedule. All right, let's go with, I think this one looks pretty good. We can go toss that in. The first one's usually been on par for us, correct? Is anybody trying animated stuff? No, because I didn't ask you to. Sorry. Actually, I don't think you can import an animated one in the background of a Google slide. So, okay, we're almost done. We got the about me. So let's try about, about me. Or if you're from Canada, about me. Is that how that works? About me. So we can do this, little info action. Sorry, my dog just walked in the room. She's very excited. So we're gonna do that. Oh, there we go. Change the color, change the size, and then move that. Remember, this is stuff you want to be a resource for your parents all year long, okay? Bam, 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 here we go. Okay, next we wanna do news. Let's do news. Breaking news, here we go. Um, let's do that. That makes sense, right? That just makes total sense. Okay, we're gonna drag that down here. Resize. It's kind of redundant that I said news twice, but you know, here we are. Here we are, just trying to change the world. Let's change that color. Like seriously, like, Canva, one of the things I love about them, they have so many templates in here that you can use. You don't have to worry about stealing things from the internet. It's all in there. You got exactly what, wow, my dog can open doors. That's weird. Okay, now resources. Hmm. I don't know what would be a good template for resources. Let's try. 
What's a good one? What would be a good one for read? I guess this one. This looks pretty clean. It's kind of a uh, kind of vague, but we haven't used it yet, so we'll toss that in there. We're almost done. We're going to export this, and then we're going to make another page that can be. There we go. Oh my goodness, incredible. Okay, so we have everything we need. Let's check over it. We've got class. We've got teacher. This needs to be shrank a little bit. Doesn't match the rest. Just notice that. Thanks for telling me, guys. Can't believe you didn't tell me. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Class and teacher. Excellent. You know what we could do that might make this easier? I'm trying to think we should put like a yellow for them to put it over it. Because I don't know if they're gonna be able to match that yellow, but it's okay. Okay, so we've got we've got the background for the front page. Now what we need to do is we need to go in and make another page. So I'm gonna hit add page. And this one's got the yellow to it. I'm gonna take, nope, not that. I'm gonna take this. And I'm kind of reverse it. I'm gonna paste that here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have up here at the top is where we're gonna be able to put the title of whatever it is. And we'll be able to add that in later. And then, um, or we could go ahead and do that for you guys, right? And then we could put whatever you're wanting to put on there as far as the information goes, you can put that right here. I think that would work, wouldn't it? Is that cool with y'all? I think that's pretty simple. Pretty simple. We could do um, we could do all the logos there. Should we? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, actually, I want to give you the freedom to put whatever you want on there. Is that cool? Should I? Uh, I mean, if you're using this, I mean, you probably want me to. So I'll go ahead and do that. So let's do this. Paste it here. Toss that up here. I'm going to actually move this down a little bit. Okay. This first one's the most important. After that, we're going to be able to run. Okay. We'll be able to go pretty fast. Okay. I want to hit the up because I want to there. And then I want to take where it says this class site. I'm going to paste that up here. And I'm actually going to make that a lot bigger. So we're going to make that like 19. Is that going to be good? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to make this for you guys. That way you don't have to do it. Literally, you're just linking into it. Okay, so we'll put class site there. Um, and you could have it actually just direct dir go directly to the site. Um, you don't have to, because I'm the way I'm thinking is each of these will link to the other slides. But you could have this class slide just go out to your, your site, like your website, wherever it is. Um, but if you want to keep it all in this so it looks like it's an app, um, I'll make this for you. Remember, you'll just bypass it if you don't need that. Um, the one thing I will add on here is I would recommend putting like a home button. This was actually Jess's idea. So I'm going to put home because we're going to want to link back to our home page. Okay. So, ooh, that's a good one. I like that. That's cool. So this will be our home button. And so people can click this anywhere they want and then bounce back to the beginning. Does that look good? That looks pretty clean, right? That looks like a teardrop a little bit, but that's fine. And we're going to change the color to yellow. Okay, so make that yellow because, I mean, brand. I say brand. I didn't make this look like anything I do for Tarver Academy. My bad. So there we go. Okay, sweet. So we have class site. So what we're going to do, all we're going to do now is I'm going to go here and I'm going to duplicate this page. Okay, so boom, duplicated. I'm going to take... This will be contact me. I don't really want to do all of it. I just want to go do this, replace that photo. And I'm going to keep this title because it's going to be easier. Instead of me like going in and resizing everything, I'm going to keep the title here. And that way I can do this. So contact me. Okay. Again, some of these are probably just going to go directly to it. So you could do like, there's like a shortcut to send email. So when they click that, it could actually just start the email, which again, I'm creating the pages for you. You can go in and change, check and reckon, let's begin. Okay, so let's duplicate this page. Boom. Okay, next one we want to go, I'm going to change the size. There we go. So we're going to go in and we're going to take the syllabus and delete this is, yeah, that's our page. So I'm going to hit delete, add this, so syllabus, syllabus, okay. 
hit duplicate. See, like I said, once we get that first one done, we're, we're pretty much rolling, okay? So parent info. All right, did we make that? Yep, making sure I don't skip any. Okay, parent info. Parent info. Move that over a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate that. We're gonna go to links. Link, remember Link from uh, Legend of Zelda? Nope, okay. So you can do this, add links in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, go and do this. So, okay, say links, okay, that Tarver Academy. Might do that when we get to the Google slide portion. So links, and then we've got our schedule. So we need to duplicate this one, because I know I didn't. Delete this, add schedule. Okay, I'm keeping the keeping the, the the little tilt on, you know, just keeping them in check. Duplicate that. Scroll back to the top. We're almost done. We got three more. We're gonna do about me. Go in here. I think I've already duplicated it. Yep. So I'm gonna hit the delete here. Put that up there. I'm gonna put about me. About me, or again, if you're from Canada, boot me. Is that how you say it? If I'm, that's not mean, is it? I don't think I'm being mean. I think it's being fun, right? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. All right, so this would be news. Have I duplicated? Nope, not yet. Hit this. Hit that. Make news. News. Okay. Sorry, that just bothered me a little bit the way that was set up. Okay. Hit duplicate. I think we're on the last one. What do we got here? Resources. That's where we can put Tarver Academy. Whatever. It's no big deal. You can do whatever you want. So resources. I think I've already duplicated it. Yep. So hit delete. Paste that. And we roll in. Okay. Resources. Okay. Excellent. Now we are about to um, we're about to export these. I think if I export them all together, so let's let's look at this. So if I hit download, um, what it's going to do is it's going to download. I want it to be a PNG. I don't want. I'm going to hit all pages, but I'm this is what I'm afraid of. When I download it as all pages, it's going to combine them into one thing. I don't want to do that. I want to upload them as separate backgrounds. So let's try this and see what happens. I think it's going to put them together, but we will find out shortly. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to make a uh, make a template out of this in Google Slides. Okay, remember you can use my template if you want. Um, it'll be on my page. Let's see. I'm going to find out. You're not going to be able to see it because it's off screen. Let's see what it did. Oh my goodness! It downloaded. Okay, so what it did was it put them all in a zip file. I opened it up in a folder and it gave me all the different pages, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so let's go to Google Drive. Here we go. We're doing this. Look at us creating a resource. This is incredible, man. When you show this to your your teachers, your fellow teachers, they're gonna think you're a genius. Don't give me credit. I mean, I gave Jess credit because she's the one to show me this was a genius. But you can give her credit. Don't give me credit. Just use the resource, change the name, and make it happen. Okay. Let's go to resources. What I like to do is I like to make a copy of my current resources because I always toss like an info page on there. So we'll just go in. I've got um, templates and slides. And then we're going to go to, I think I've got a horizontal template. We'll use one of these. I'm going to make a copy of this. Fine, I'll make a copy. And I'm going to end up deleting everything in there. So we're going to make that copy. Okay. All right, excellent. Remember, you can do this with any of my resources. Say you have a resource and you're like, hey, I want to make a resource. I forgot to take that bit.ol slash canvas. Sorry, I was on there forever. You should know that by now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title. It's going to help me find it in case I get kicked out of here. Um, but my goal, I'm going to change my Wi-Fi to where it's showing preferential treatment to this. So as we do this in the chat, I would love for to know what is your um, what is your skill set with Google Slides? That's what I'd like to know. Okay, so we're going to go into Google Home. In the chat, what is your skill set with Google Slides? One to 10. I'm gonna go in and preference. Okay. Well, 
Never mind, that's not gonna work right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and delete that. I wanna delete that lesson plan. I'm gonna keep this. This is my little um, intro slide. It's where I do this. So we're gonna just call this uh, resource because it's not a to-do list. So resource, okay, we're gonna call this one uh, teacher classroom app, okay? Now I need to change the size. Okay, this was the size that Jess gave me as this. So I'm gonna go to File. You're doing this with me. Go to Page Setup. And she said it would be four by 6.7. Okay, hit Apply. It's gonna shift it a little bit. Let's see how much. Okay, great. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna add a new slide. Not two, but one. I'm gonna go and delete these little boxes because I don't want them yet. Okay, so here's what we got. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna make our links. Because before, we've just made our backgrounds. Now, that we could have done that in here, and then we have all this box that we can shift it in here. Um, but once you build something you like, you can just roll that directly into the other one. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to background, and I want to choose my image, and I'm gonna go in and find the one that I just created. So it's under downloads. Um, it's under downloads, let's see. They added. All right, let's see where I put that. Um, documents. Where did it download to? It doesn't matter. I know the title of it. The title is something weird. It's you're just gonna go in and find wherever you just downloaded it. I have no idea what that stands for, but that's where it is. So we're gonna go to one. I think this is it. Yep. Hit open. It's gonna upload that picture in our background and we're done. Look at that, turned out pretty good, right? Okay, so we've got that page. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and make my other pages. That way I can start linking to stuff, okay? So I'm just going to um, duplicate. So, well, I'm not gonna duplicate that one. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna duplicate it. So Command C, Command V, bam. Okay, I'm gonna change that background. Now, what I could have done, instead of giving you guys the logos up front, I could have just left them blank and then it'd been easy for me. I could have just copied that one, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload each of those individually. So if you did that, you can go ahead and upload them. They should be in order in how they downloaded. Done, see, so we got class site. Let's go in and do the same thing. Do this here. So as you go in and upload those, you're changing your background, you're choosing your image, and you're uploading your images. It's gonna take a second, but not too long. So as you're doing this, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna stop talking, because you've heard my voice too much. I'm gonna let you chill and do those uploads. If not, you can just watch me in silence and enjoy the moments, and maybe the background noise at my house. So stop talking in the chat. Let me know if you're doing this on your own or if you pulled in my template to start with. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I said I would, now I'm gonna stop talking. If you're wondering, sorry, if you're wondering how I'm making that copy so quickly, I'll walk you through that. I'm on a Mac. Um, you might be on a Chromebook or a uh, like a Windows computer. All I'm doing to make that copy, you see how this is shaded right here? I'm just hitting Command C, which is copy. For Windows or Chromebook, it might be Control C, so Command C, and then Command V, which is paste. I mean, you're like. P starts with a P starts with P. V stands for view. You're viewing what you copied. So that's the way I'm going. Click, click, and it's making that copy. So Command C, Command V. I don't think I've done that one. Might be uploading schedule twice. Nope. Okay, so just did schedule.
almost done. I think we got two left. We'll find out very shortly if I skipped any. You should have 10 pages total if you did it the same way as us, because we have our menu page, which is our home page. And then we have our um, have our nine boxes. So hit this. Okay. So uh, this was actually an idea from, uh, I, keep, I keep giving her credit because she's the one that said it. And if I heard it from her, I will give her credit. So we've got our main page right here. This is our menu page. Here is the issue we're going to run into. Whenever uh, people are using your this, okay, because it is a slideshow, but you're going to publish it to the internet and let them use it as kind of like an app, like a de facto app. Now, here's the issue. Whenever it's a slideshow, if you click on it, it goes to the next slide. We don't want them to click on it and go to the next slide. So what we're going to do is, and this is a great idea from, from Jess, we're going to go in and we're going to create essentially a clicker, like a transparent clicker that keeps it on that page. So I'm going to go to shape. I'm going to do a quadrilateral. I'm going to cover the entire page. Okay. Cover the entire page. And then I'm going to make it transparent. So I'm going to make it... How do I make it transparent? Oh, there it is. Transparent. Now I'm going to make this transparent. Bam. So now you can't see it. And what I want to do is I want to now make that a link. I want to make it a linkable box. And so I'm going to click on the box. I'm going to hit Command K. And I'm going to, I'm going to go in and... Sorry. Click this. I'm going to make it a link. Now I can't see it. I'm running out of room. Oh my goodness, this is not what I wanted. Oh my goodness. So we're going to click here. We're going to make this a link. Slide in the presentation. I wanted to make it this slide in the presentation, but I can't see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Why is it not letting me link? This? I'm going to go up like this. So we're going to scroll up. I'm going to hit this. Now we can see. Okay, I want it to be this slide, which is, I think, slide one. Nope, this is slide two. So bam. Hit apply. So now if they click anywhere else, it's not going to go to the next slide automatically, which I'm sure would confuse them. We want it to stay on this slide. Okay. I'm making it to where you can put in the box for your class or your teacher. Sorry, my dog literally can open doors and it keeps walking in. Um, so you're going to go in and you can put your name for class, your name for teacher. And then we're going to make these boxes over the top of these. So we made one transparent box in the background. And then we're going to go in and make everything else and put it on top of it. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to take this. I'm going to click here, Command C. And then I'm going to paste here the exact same thing. So I don't have to go in and create a new box every time. I just paste that. And now I just need to go in and change the link to it. And I want to make this slide three. Oh, cool. Apply. Same thing here. Now, I'm about to go copy paste on all these others. I can go ahead and do like a little bit of, uh, I can make another box for my home because this page right here doesn't have home because it is home. So now I want to go in and put that over the top of this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do another shape. I'm going to do this and I'm going to click it over this. You're going to do this. It's pretty much the rest of what we're doing is we're going to navigate people in and out of this. So I've got that box. I want it to be transparent here, transparent here, and then I want to make it a link. So I want this to go to slide two. Slide one is my info slide, sorry. You can delete it and then you'll know which slide. Hit apply. That way now that clicks back to our home page. So if they ever get lost, they're in here, they want to go back to the home page, they can click that and go to where they want to go. Now I can select all of this, hit copy, and then I can paste. I'm going to do the same thing for all these. So I'm going to hit paste. Now my home button's clicked. You can check it by clicking on it. Yep. And then I can check this one. Oh, nope. I can hit, click this. It's going to go to slide four. It looks like it's making every single one. It's automatically, which is really cool. I've never done that. It's automatically linking it to that new slide. Same thing here. Let's check it. I just want to check it. Just make sure. Because I'm going to send this resource out. I want you guys to have this. Okay. So you have it correct and finish my sentence. Okay. Paste there. Go here. We're going to paste here. 
seven. I'm gonna paste here. Eight. Paste here. That'll be nine. Paste here. This will be ten. And this will be eleven. Okay, so we've got all those. Now what we need to do is we need to create our navigation bar. So we've got all those pages linked. So they're editable. You can do whatever you want. You can add in any text. I might go in there and go ahead and build you some text boxes, which I think is exactly what I'm going to do. So you guys don't have to start from scratch on all this. But I'm going to go ahead and build the navigation because I think that's pretty important. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do um, uh, same thing we've been doing. We're going to do a shape. We're gonna make oh shape. Oh my goodness. Shape. And I'm going to go over this. And then I'm going to make that transparent. I'm gonna make that transparent. And we are going to make that automatically go to um, sorry, we're gonna to link to it. So command K. We're gonna to link to our class. That'll be slide three. Okay, hit apply. And then I'm going to make option. I'm going to make all these boxes. See how I'm not like starting from scratch each time? I'm going to click and drag over all these boxes. That way I don't have to go in and create that transparent box again. Option, I'm holding option. And then I'm clicking and dragging and it duplicates what you just did. Okay, here we go. We're almost done. Okay, now under this one on this, so they're all going to be slide three, which is not correct. What you can do is remember for class site, this could actually link out to your site. So if you wanted to, you could go in and you can make this link, hit X and then change it to like tarveracademy.com or whatever website you want. Okay. So we're going to go and make contact me. This one needs to change. So I'm going to edit. I want this to go to slide four because that is my contact me slide. Okay, hit apply. Don't forget to hit apply on these. Most of the time, Google saves automatically, but not in this one. I think, what did we say this one was? Syllabus is slide five. She remembered it. Hit apply. So next one, slide six. Apply. Slide seven. Hit apply. Slide eight. Hit apply. Slide nine. I'm saying it out loud so I don't forget. I think I got off somewhere. Hold on. Or I missed a slide. Is that slide nine? I'm checking. Yep. Ten. Looks like we're on track. Slide ten. Hit apply. And this last one is going to be slide 11. If I can see it. Okay, excellent. Um, you know, the selfish part of me wants to add in a Tarver Academy logo right here that they can jump to mine, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. That'd be terrible. Don't do that, Tyler. Actually, I could add my logo on the resources page. That would be, that wouldn't be bad, would it? Okay, we're not going to do that. Man, I should have made this baller teacher logo here. I, I missed an entire marketing opportunity here. Um, okay, sweet. So I'm going to make the I'm going to go ahead and make the text boxes for everybody so they can go ahead and put the stuff they want in it, and then everything else they'll link out to wherever they want. So um, make this box. Um, I'm going to put a name, and we're going to make this bold, and we're going to make it. Um, yellow. That's going to help. It's just going to help, guys. It'll help everything. Man, I really did. I could have like made this whole thing. I didn't, what did I do? Oh, I just made the box. What in the world? Sorry. I did the border, not the font. There we go. Class. And then we're going to make the same thing here. Name. Okay. 
make that a little bit better. There we go. And then we need to make an announcements box. So we're going to go make one more text box right here. Okay, and we're going. Okay, we're about to publish to the web, so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, we need to change the font. We need to make that. There we go. Um, you know, put announcements. Announcements here. Make that bold. Okay, that way people now they can just go in and fix that and add that to it. Okay. So class site, we could have it linked there if they want to, or they can just skip it straight to the website. And then um, they can put logos in, add pictures, and then they're just adding those links. So there you go. Okay. Um, maybe I should give them like, let's see, contact me, syllabus, parent info, links. I'm trying to think if I should add something for them about me. Um, they could put a little bit about themselves. I could do that for them. I could do that for them. We could do that. Command C. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to make, I might actually go in and make a new one that is like Target Academy colors, but you know, this tutorial, it's going to live as is. It's going to live as is. Um, here, we're going to have a little bit about them. Paste that right there. We can adjust this. Tell talk about yourself here. There we go. Okay. Let's take that. We're going to copy that. Is there anything else? News. Probably need text box there. You know, type info info here. Okay. Resources. That'll be like links and stuff. They can toss that in schedule then put that in there if you want you could actually embed schedule links would be there parent info I'll toss it here okay syllabus can be linked out here and there you go and actually i could probably you could probably just link to the google doc of the syllabus directly from there okay sweet now let's show you how to actually get that put on a phone as an app so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to um, publish to the web. So we're going to go to publish to web. So you're going to go to file, publish to web, and then you don't want it to rotate. Ooh, we don't want it to rotate. Maybe start slash layer loads. We don't want that. Restart slash class slide. Um, we don't want it to rotate. Let's say every minute. Okay. Okay. Hit publish. Hit okay. Now, what it does is it gives us a link where we can put that on the internet. So you can email that to yourself or you can create a bit.ly to get it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm just going to, I guess, I'm going to text it to myself and then pull it up on my phone and show you what that looks like because I don't want to open up my email because I don't know what my email is going to say. Um, so I'm going to send that. Let's go here to our Gmail account and then we're going to send it to ourselves and I'm going to open up the link here. So that's what I'm going to recommend. So take the link, text it, email it, send it to yourself, however you want. And then um, you're going to open it on your phone. I'm going to show you how to do that on your phone. And so you're going to be good to go. One second, let me shut my door. Thank you so much. Okay. And then we're going to hit this. I'm going, sorry, I'm just talking through and you can't see my screen, but you're sending the link to yourself because what we want to do is we want to open that link on um, in Safari. That's going to allow us to add this app. So I'm about to show you my screen so you can see what is happening. So let me pull it up. I'm going to get my link and I'm going to click my link. Come on. Where is the link? There it is. So I'm going to click my link and now I'm going to show you how to add this to your home screen as an app. Okay, here we go. So I need to make this larger so you can see. Hey, what's up? Okay, so here is, I went to the link in Safari. It is on here. So now what I need to do is I need to add this to my home screen as an app. So do you see down there at the bottom, it's got the little box with the upward arrow. You're going to click on that. I can't see. You're going to click right there. Goop. Goop. Okay. So that's where you would share a website. 
There we go. That's where you would share a website. You want to go to scroll down to add to add to home screen. See where it says add to home screen on your phone. So we're going to add it to our home screen. And then you can change the name of the app to, you know, Mr. Tarver's class. Hit add. See that? I'm changing the name. I'm going to hit add. Boom. Now I have that on my phone as an app. So now they can click that app. It goes in here. I didn't, you need to delete my page. There we go. Now we've got our navigation. So we can scroll in and I can click any of these boop, and it'll go to that page. Links. I can click the home button and go back to the home button. Boop. And I can click whatever I want. Look at this. We did it. We're doing it. We're really doing it. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. We did it, guys. We just created a classroom app. You would send that to your parents and they would now be able to click that and see any information for your class that they need to. You can also do the same for students. Honestly, I'd probably do that for my students first. Make it to where it's easy for them to access anything they need, Google Classroom, any websites. So we did it. That was a full walkthrough. That was good stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, joining and learning with us. And I hope you walk out with something you can actually use in your class. Y'all be good. Stay sweet. Never stop learning. We did it. We did it. We learned something. Did you learn something today? In the chat, I want you to put the thing that you are taking away from today. Put one thing in the chat right now that you have learned or that you have realized or that's reinforced something you think. Put that one that I like to call this the golden nugget. Put the golden nugget from today in the chat. And that way, if somebody's missed it, or they checked in, go ahead and you guys can copy paste what other people put. If there's some advice, you can screenshot it. Get this. I want you to throw in the best thing you learned today. It's like a best of highlight reel for your favorite thing that happened during this training. Toss that in the chat right now so we can share and grow together. Okay, we're about to do the evaluation. Before we do, I want to remind you, if you want access to this, this entire training at any time throughout the year, um, not just these live broadcasts, you can join the Tarver Academy Honor Roll. Why do I do this? Who goes? Tarver Academy Honor Roll. It's like Netflix for teachers. Netflix for teachers because you have resources, you have templates, you have PDs, trainings. It's literally like a library of trainings and then access to ask questions, to request resources that I build and send out to teachers all around the world. So tarveracademy.com slash on a roll if you want to join the greatest community on the planet. And I'm not biased at all. I mean, all of us, you're on the honor roll. You want to be on the honor roll? Sick. Let's all be on the honor roll. And I'm a dean, so keep me on the dean's list. Hey, that works. Okay. All right. Now it's time for your evaluation. I'd love to get your thoughts on what you what you thought for this, but also I'm going to send you a certificate saying that you sat through this training. You, you put in the time. You wanted to learn. You wanted to grow. You wanted to get better. This is going to be a certificate that I'm going to email to you. What I need you to do is I need you to go to the link on the screen or hover over the hover over the QR code with your phone, get your phone out, hover over it. It's gonna ask you a few questions. If you don't get this, it means that you put your email address in wrong. Make sure, please do not rush this. Type your email address in correctly. Please, I'm begging you, because if not, you're gonna email me, I never got my certificate. It's because your email address is wrong. Type it in, type in your email address correctly Fill it out, fill out your name, make sure you capitalize, make it look good because it's going to fill in to the certificate from this. So I need you to put this in correctly, please. Okay, go there. We're going to walk you through it. Go into this, click on the link, or is it, you can't click on the link because it's on a video. The click, Type in the link on your computer or type it in on your phone or whatever device you have. Scan the QR code, fill it out. I'm gonna send you a certificate with a timestamp on it saying what time you ended. You have proof from earlier if you sent in to the other link of what time you started. And then you also got your notes and all the stuff you've learned, your screenshots, all of that to show your administrator or whoever, you know, your spouse. You show your friends, show people on the streets, all the learning that you did. You can frame that certificate. I think we're all getting framed. You get a frame, I'm getting framed. I'm gonna put it up on my shelf. I got too much stuff on my shelf already. So look at this, Lonzo Ball Rookie Card. If you got any, by the way, you got any basketball cards you want to sell? Hit me up. Uh, I've been slightly obsessed with basketball cards and uh, I apologize for bringing it up. Look at this, I've got, this is all Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball, I mean, He's the GOAT. Everybody says it. Who's in the chat? Who is your favorite basketball player of all time? I'd love to know. It was Lonzo Ball. It's quite the coincidence because I had it sitting on my desk. If not, it's probably, probably this guy. Probably this guy right here. See that guy? That's Michael Jordan. No big deal. It's whatever. Don't like to brag about it. I mean, it's, that, it's not that expensive, that card. But if you got any 
cards you want to sell? Holler at me. I don't know why I said that. I'm just stalling so you guys can fill out your evaluation. All right. Y'all feel good? I'm going to leave this on the screen for you for a little while in case you had to step out for a second. Uh, I'm going to leave this up. Thank you again so much for your attention and your time and everything that you put into learning and growing with us today. I'm Tyler. This is Tarver Academy. Let's learn to have fun. See you guys later.